Hi everybody, happy Thursday night. I'm your host, Average Moz. We're back with some more WWE 2K24. Time to be the bad guy. So we're going to play through again, and we're just going to do some uh, different options and see what it's like being a bad guy this time. Morning, Tony. Welcome to The Bump and what is shaping up to be the most chaotic SummerSlam week in WWE history. I'm Byron Saxton. And I'm Kayla Braxton. Less than a week before defending the undisputed WWE Universal Championship against Cody Rhodes in a brand versus brand main event at SummerSlam, Roman Reigns shocked the world and surrendered his title. The head of the table said that he's been beating up Cody for years now, and he has nothing more to prove. Now he's taking a sabbatical in Hollywood to show his cousin, The Rock, that he will be a bigger superstar there, too. With SummerSlam in disarray and the draft set to begin the night after, Triple H called for a one-night WWE Universal title tournament with selections from the GMs of both Raw and SmackDown. Raw GM William Regal named Cody as Raw's first entrant and said he was confident the title would be coming to Raw. But SmackDown's brand new general manager, The Miz, didn't find this awesome. He called the attempt to take his WWE Universal Championship to Raw nothing short of theft. And The Miz is in it to win it for his brand. He's sending a team of killers to bring that title home. Let's take a look. Kayla, we know what Braun Strowman brings to a fight. AJ Styles is always a threat. If you ask me, though, KO is the man to beat in this whole tournament. He's been hungry for the opportunity. Reigns has left him here. That sounds like he was waiting for crumbs from Roman's table, Byron. William Regal's entries are no slouches. Finn Balor was the first Universal Champion. Much of the WWE Universe believes this is Gunter's time. And Cody Rhodes has been looking to finish the story for a while now. That last slot, though, Kayla, what is Regal's strategy there? William Regal still has one foot in developing young superstars. Raw's GM is going to make a match on the SummerSlam kickoff show for that last slot in the tournament. Your guy, Kevin Owens... I mean, I wouldn't call him my guy. Your guy is not going to know his opponent until the winner of that match, and neither will we. You sold the whole company, Tony? That's crazy. I'm doing pretty good. How are you doing? <clears throat> Don't blow yourself up, young man. You're apt to have a long night. Mr. Regal. Coming in early to help the ring crew. Running the ropes while everyone else is still at the hotel, it makes an impression. Thanks. I do my best. Do you? What do you mean? Do you do your best? Apply yourself. You sound like my old math teacher. Well, you came to Raw more than a year ago now, and you've yet to make much of an impression. No titles, no great rivalries, a win-loss record with just enough victories to fly under the radar. A uh, great pep talk? Let me finish. I see your potential. The question is, if you're ready to fulfill it. I'm ready. Good. Because as you know, 
There's a tournament for the WWE Universal Championship tonight. The final slot for Raw will be decided in a match on the kickoff show. One of the combatants will be Dominic Mysterio. That young man has a future, a legacy, a name. The other competitor is you. Thank you, sir. So much. I'll bring my best. Good man. See you do. You're the long shot of this whole night, my boy. You're the dark horse. Beat the odds. So, uh, this bad guy wears face paint. That's really all I did. <laughs> Change up his entrance a little bit, too. Here we go. Money talks. Here comes the money. Do the attributes. We do have a Rock and Cody story, but Rock isn't really going to do a whole lot until after he's back from his movies, so kind of let things play loose of, hey, you don't know when he's going to come back. Won't be anytime soon. Movies take a while. And here we go with Troy again. Oh, good. There you are. I'm Troy Simpkin. Uh, Troy, we've met several times. <laughs> Ribbing you, bro. I've been on Raw for a while now. I know how these things work. Probably more than six months, but yeah. Okay. For fine. two movies, yeah. Just trying to be helpful. Thanks, but I. Good idea, since the kickoff show is starting soon. Oh, and I wanted to let you know that we won't be needing you for anything after the match, so feel free to head back to the hotel. Hmm. Why would I go back to the hotel? I expect to win and keep fighting. Of course you do. Well, look who it is. That nickname is sticking. Good times? Is Raw trying to steal SmackDown's WWE Universal title? Between us, what is Regal really up to? Um, giving me an opportunity to win the WWE Universal Championship? He put you in a qualifying match. You think that's some kind of vote of confidence? Come on, don't be naive. I'm not. What are you getting? You know he has all his royal eggs in the Cody Rhodes basket. Oh, you'll post about me? For real? Because I want the WWE Universal title on my show, where it belongs. And I am 100% sure KO will beat you. Coming to SmackDown? Man, that is a very generous offer and a wicked smart strategy, Miz. I just, and I don't want to overstep here, but I have just one little thing I'm bumping on. What's that? It's just that I would rather have my fingernails pulled out with needle-nose pliers than ever work for an entitled, condescending reality show hack like you. I promise that you will regret that. Miz, this right now, this conversation, talking to you, that's what I regret. Wamp, wamp. It's the so-called dark horse of the tournament. The following contest is a qualifying match for the Universal Championship Tournament. Making his way to the ring from Tampa, Florida, weighing in at 226 pounds. Daniel, a natural Let's not get ahead of ourselves. Come on.
One of these men will walk out of this qualifying match with a ticket to the dump. All right, first thing first, I need to... Where was it? Turn that off. So I had to uh, switch from my PlayStation controller to the Xbox one. Uh, just because the microphone, for some reason, started to pick up noise. I don't know how, but it, um, yeah, it did, so. The WWE Universal Championship Tournament. And we know who it's going to be, Cole. Dirty Dominic Mysterio. He's a hard man who did hard time. Hard time. He spent one night in jail. Show a little respect to Dominic's opponent. You really think this guy has got the stuff to follow in Roman Reigns' footsteps, Saxton? He's been called the Dark Horse for a reason. Oh, launching himself from the ropes. So hopefully this records this. better. Right on the arm. And we'll uh, see what it's like to be a bad guy. Can withstand much more of this. Dominic now is going to have to dig down deep. I do want to thank all 817 subscribers who've been along for the ride. Channel's definitely still growing. Showing of authority, no two ways about it. And Mysterio hasn't quite learned a defense for that attack yet. Channel's still growing and uh, pr proud to keep going. So. Delivering nasty stops. We'll be getting some. You imagine the disdain it takes to repeatedly stop someone like that. Oh. He continues to press forward. Yeah, this can't be how he pictured this fight going. We'll be getting some hell divers in later this week, and then we'll be going to Skull and Bones uh, next week. Oh, that might be the best mood sold ever. When we have Lapest's final stand. So. That'll be something to also look forward to. Going back to Skull and Bones. To the belly. Isolating their opponent's arm and oh! Goodness gracious. And if the first stop doesn't send you the message, the follow-up ones definitely will. Sister Abigail! Good night. I'll probably record another episode for Crew Motorfest, just because I know there's some people who still like to watch it. Doesn't get a lot of views, but still a good thing people want to see. Mess it up. The hell? Trying to do my catch finisher. The springboard attack fails to land. Uh, Fisherman suplex. And Dominic is failing to offer any resistance here. Yeah, Dominic needs to find an opening fast. Hmm. Doesn't give me the lift option. Maybe it needs to be weaker. Great counter. Crucial turnaround there. Keeps Dominic away from more danger. Dominic was getting beaten down, but he could have just changed the pace with that move. Arm ringer. Oh. Counter with a knuckle sandwich. And they failed to hit the mark. Big forearm. This is just brute power. German. Just pure dominance. And now he's just being pushed around. He's got to wake up and get in the fight. Championship Tournament. What a win. Impressive, but somehow he's going to have to find a way to string together three more victories before the night's over. Joke's on you, Miz. We're actually going to be working with you, so...
KO, first round of the WWE Universal Title Tournament. Let's do this. Seriously? Are you literally the most desperate superstar on Raw? I'm just saying. Oh, KO, I'm so excited to fight you. What the hell have you ever done to even deserve being in the same room as the WWE Universal Championship? You want to know what I've done to get here? It was a rhetorical question. What you've done is take the opportunity to showcase your craft on the biggest stage in the world and flush it right down the toilet. I'm nobody's project. Half right. You're definitely a nobody. See you out there. Oof. There he is. Great match with Dominic out there. Regal made the right call opening that last slot up. We're in the opposite bracket, but I'm kind of hoping you make it to the final. Real Cinderella story. Is that like some kind of reverse psychology mind game? Hell no. You make it to the final, I'm aiming to beat you just like I was going to beat Reigns. Of course you were going to beat Roman. Man, Cody, that must get under your skin. Reigns running away to Hollywood. No. The fact that whatever you do, however many titles you win, you're just the guy who stepped out of his dad's shadow and right into Roman's. Wow. Stiff. It's like that? It's like that. See you in the main event, Rhodes. Sometimes being a bad guy is fun. There were not many people who expected KO's opponent to make it into the WWE Universal Championship Tournament, but here he is. What do you think is going through his mind right now? The jerk in the curtain at SummerSlam is as close to the undisputed WWE Universal title as he's ever going to get. KO's about to turn Cinderella back into a pumpkin. Pretty sure that's the carriage, Corey. The odds might favor Kevin Owens, but we've already seen this man has brought his A-game tonight. Like bear. Spinning heel kick. Agility like that, easier said than done, gentlemen. Lord breaker. It's not looking good for Owens. Owens is getting shut down at every turn. The German. That had to have taken an incredible amount of leverage to pull. Springboard. Shooting star press. Pinpoint precision right on target. Standing shooting star press incredible. Oh. Quick reflex is so important in a match like this. Is he this. countering? Is that what Michael Cole is saying? No, he's drop. not. Shining wizard! That's right, Corey. That was a shining wizard. And now he's really falling behind. He's got to boost up his levels of aggression at this point. Boom! King shots up. Goes under the ropes to get back inside. Whoa, leaping through the air. Now, I will also be doing a poll this week to uh, showcase some games I'm looking at doing. Ropes, and see if there's any interest in it. So keep an eye out for that. Stunner. This one's over. Why the heck would he do that? I'll tell you why, Saxton. Kevin Owens is making a statement. This statement could cost Owens the WWE Universal Championship. KO needs to take the W. He's wasting time. It's not a waste of time. Everyone in this tournament is watching, and they see KO beating a guy so bad he can't stand up. Is he setting him up for another stunner? Wait, small package. One, two, three. He got him. KO had it won, but his arrogance got the better of it. I don't buy it, Saxton. Let me see a replay. KO's taking it out of the referee. And another stunner from Owen. He might have won the match, but did this guy ever lose the war? Just a total meltdown from KO here tonight. And as a result of KO's meltdown, I'm not even sure his opponent's going to make it to his next match.
I'm about to go live with a hit for the bump, and you are the guy everyone is talking about tonight. You got a quick sec? You got a bag of ice? Um, no. That is a bummer. But chatting with you is not. What do you want to know? You really came out of nowhere tonight with a couple of big wins that have you in the hunt for the undisputed WWE Universal Championship. But I have to ask, is your performance tonight a fluke? I'm sorry? A fluke? I don't mean any offense, it's just... Your record hasn't exactly been at the WWE Universal Championship level since you got here. The only fluke is that I've been out here busting my butt for two years, and it's taken them this long to give me the opportunity. What the WWE Universe is seeing is not a fluke. It's a guy telling each and every one of them, and you, it's about damn time. You did just take two stunners and win with a small package. That's not a fluke, Kayla. I call it strategy. I beat KO by outthinking KO. That sounds pretty egotistical coming from a guy who's about to face Braun Strowman in the semi- The monster among men is going to do exactly what you and the rest of the WWE Universe are doing. Underestimating me. And that's why I'm fixing to win it all. Give him that on the bump. Yeah. Time to go face Braun. Hope everyone's week's been going well. I've had a busy week myself, and I got to work this weekend, but still here to provide a decent show Cavalli for y'all. Keep surviving. It's the dark horse. to see the wear and tear on the dark horse of the tournament. And despite the result, KO beat the hell out of him. And now he's walking into a fight with a genuine monster in Braun Strowman. The guy that'll turn around, take the count out loss, and call it a night. Not happening, Corey. We saw it with Dominic Mysterio on the kickoff show, and we saw it with Kevin Owens in our opening match tonight. This man will not quit. Ridiculous standing shooting star. It's incredible the inventiveness we are seeing on display here. A great agility. A continuous attack on Strowman. Braun is shockingly being dismantled. Elevated knee drop. Eyes Take the big on guy the down. Target. A knee drop delivered. So precise. He's starting to struggle here. And hanging tough, but beginning to show some wear and tear. Might want to think about picking up the pace a bit. Springboard! Shooting star! That's finding any which way to topple the competition. Hurling your own body like that is insane. Now would be the time for everyone to clear out. Easier said than done. They are not concerned about anyone else's well-being. Bad predicament right here. My goodness! And then look at that! And now he's dictating the pace. You can tell he's firing up. A steel chair? Something we all know can be a devastating weapon. He steps foot in the ring again. The WWE Universe is pouring more fuel on his fire right now. Wow, the last second beat the count out. Thunderous powerbomb. Wow. Now he's been forced to take a breather. That last sequence didn't go as he planned. Trying to get a PS5 and pay it off. There you go. His opponent. Not allowing that to go on any longer. Boom! It's okay, they weren't that pretty anyway. Look at this. Incredible. Wow. The tip lip German suplex. And a strong kick out in one. You expect these pins to last much longer at this stage in the match. Oh, right to the kidneys. Golly. He has to be at his limit now. This is getting hard to watch, guys. We might need to stop this one. Monsters don't impart much fear when they're in this position. I can't believe we're seeing this. I can't either, Byron. I completely agree. 
This incredible. Oh, right in the face. Now Strowman feeling the pressure. Now you don't often have your way with Braun like this. Sister Abigail. Looking for a scoop slam, but from behind. Inverted DDT. He oh, it right clap. Back. Braun has a knock. Nope. Power slam. Absolute rope break. destruction from Strowman. Foot's on the rope, ref. Kick out at one. Unbelievable. Oh. More like inhuman. Strowman beside himself now. He saw this going down a whole lot different. Let's go. Like it has so many other times before. Counters on count. No signs of either combatant backing down. Oh, ouch. And he retaliates on Strowman. Giving up now is not an option. They have to finish this. Neither competitor is backing down. Ooh. You can feel the contact, and so does the WWE Universe. This is a war with neither superstar wanting to be the one who surrenders. Great counter, impressive ring IQ on display there. And Braun Strowman looking for support from the <laughs> What the ref's doing. Oh. Oh. Powerbomb position. Going down, punches and counters out. Oh, what a DDT. Wow. Hard landing. Cover. Two. Didn't even need a finisher. He's got the victory. Raise the roof. Calm down, Michael. Beat up and gotta go fight Cody. Miz and Regal, what y'all need? This is a setup, Regal. I take over as the general manager of SmackDown, and all of a sudden there's a tournament for my show's title with a bunch of Raw guys, and now two of them made it to the finals? Ms. Annen, surely you cannot believe that I somehow conspired with Roman Reigns to abdicate his title. Perhaps he simply didn't want to work with you. That is ridiculous. Roman loves me, and that's not the point. You and Triple H and all your little buddies skulking around to anoint Cody Rhodes, you set this up for Cody to face this guy. Hello again, Miz. I thought about your offer to come to SmackDown if I did okay against Dom and then lost to KO. I decided to beat him instead. Looks like I made the right choice including you in this tournament. Oh, look at the Mutual Admiration Society. Can you really not see what's going on here, kid? A qualifying match? Owens? Strowman? You're getting the hell kicked out of you so Regal can put his boy Cody on the throne. Yeah, he is using me to main event SummerSlam, Miz. I'm cool with it. Whatever. I'm done with both of you. You cannot get away with stealing the WWE Universal Championship from SmackDown, Regal. I believe I just have. Against all odds, he's here to compete in the tournament finals.
Edge, the man who can achieve his dreams by being a nightmare to his opponent. Everything has led to this for the undisputed. Many believe that Cody Rhodes is a lock to win the WWE Universal Championship tonight. The dark horse of the tournament is the last man standing in his path. You know, things would be different if Roman Reigns hadn't walked away, but it sure does look like the WWE Universal title is in Rhodes' grasp. After all you've seen tonight, you're still counting this man out? There are only so many banana peels his opponents can slip up on, Saxton. Rhodes doesn't make mistakes. Oh, and a big right. He's looking a little weary now. And this match is not over yet. Things are only going to get harder from here. From the... Oh, oh I missed. The mark. Ow. Bam. Clearly waiting for that. DDT! A familiar, gruesome sight on the face of the American Nightmare. We got red suplex. You have to be in peak physical condition to pull off a move with that much weight behind it. an effective attack guys and now Rhodes can't stop this momentum yeah some flaws in Cody's game plan are being exposed there's a fisherman suplex a slingshot into a cross body ouch no sign of hesitation and that risk gained big rewards no dragon screw Cody Rhodes finding a way to slow his opponent's assault down Cody isn't allowing that burst of attack Damn, I'm to bleeding too. to him. The adrenaline is pumping, and the WWE Universe is on his side. And he gets delivered back into the ring, looking for something, anything under the ring. Rose looking to end oh, shit. this. Looking to put his opponent Crossroads. on the Crossroads. Cody Rhodes just might have finished things. Not even a two count. What unbelievable power. And Cody didn't see that coming. I didn't see the crossroads coming. <laughs> Not over the rope. Whatever. Oof. Hard right hand. What are we going to see here? Uh-oh. Spiking DDT. Placing them into the corner. Looking back in that corner. It's the grab. What are you talking about? Game. Oh, target acquired and destroyed. Cody retaliates. Oh. Uh, off the rope. Really? Figure four leg lock applied. Uh, just trying to find a way out. Awesome to see we got five viewers as I'm uh, reversing the figure four on Cody Rhodes. Get out of the way, ref. Dismantling the arm in the corner. Gotta hurt. Oh, right in there. Counter out. 
after counter. He went right into that turnbuckle. Uh, close line. I'm hitting the grab on him like three times now. For some reason, it's not understanding. Strikes with it. There we go. The wonder if Cody Rhodes came into this tournament's final match overconfident. I don't think so, Corey. Cody's a veteran. At this point in his career, he's learned not to underestimate any of his opponents. Reversal. And the ref gets taken out. There it is. Cody hit the crossroads. No, the story should be complete. That referee was right in the line of fire, Saxton. Cody sees it. Now checking on the official. You can see the frustration on his face. We got to get another referee down here. Spin from Roman Reigns. What the hell is Roman doing here? Cody is hurt, guys, and the official has no idea. I can't believe this. Roman was supposed to be off in Hollywood, but I guess he took a detour. Oh, no. What is Roman thinking? Reigns can't do this. No! Roman Reigns guaranteed that Cody Rhodes would not win the WWE Universal Championship, and the head of the table keeps his promises. No! Not like this! No! Yes, Cole! Yes! It's over! It's over! This is incredible! Roman is the kingmaker! This is criminal! Criminally genius! Look at the smile on Roman's face! I can't believe how we got here. We have a new undisputed WWE Universal Champion. Undisputed? This guy doesn't even know where he is. Roman's actions here tonight will reverberate throughout the WWE Universe for a very long time. What a SummerSlam and what a turn of events. We're both bloody, but I'm the champ. So, sorry, Cody. Question mark days. How many days? Is it a fluke? Is he one-hit wonder? He made his promise. Or kept his promise. Cody, man, I was going to give you a call, but figured we should talk in person. I don't blame you. I know you and Reigns weren't in on it together. I appreciate that. At the same time, we both know I had you beat when Reigns attacked me from behind. Is that what we know? One, two, three, four, five. And that's when I got up to check on the ref. I don't need to recap. You okay. took the crossroads. It was over. Look, you hung tough. Your time will come. But last night, you were done. It was a strategy. I knew the ref was down. Why would I waste my energy kicking out? Okay, sure. Right, pal. Seriously. While you were counting in your head, I was just chilling. Taking a break. You know, some me time. Well, I hope you saved up plenty of energy while you were looking up at the lights because you're gonna need it tonight. It is an absolute crime the position that Roman Reigns has put you in. The cloud now hanging over your reign as WWE Universal Champion belies your efforts. I know you fought like hell to win the title. You're damn right I did. I had to compete in an extra match too, and I still made it to the finals, and won. A fine achievement that the WWE Universe nonetheless looks askance at. Unfortunately, Reigns beat Cody as much as you did. Seriously? What does it even matter how it happened? I walked away with the title, yet he's the one you want to be champion? Hogwash. I want the best man to win, and that is all. Really? No little push for your buddy's kid to go to the top? That accusation is beneath your dignity. Now, if you'll excuse me, it's a very busy night with the draft starting. Good. It is busy with the draft.
skip entrances for the sake of brevity. Minus my it's intro. Brand new, undisputed WWE Universal Champion. Yes, they did fix the custom side plates. So now it shows on my career mode, too. In Hollywood, we can finally settle the WWE Universal Championship controversy once and for all. Rhodes and the Dark Horse jockeying for position here. Stop! Stop the damn match! What is Miz doing out here? I said, stop this unsanctioned match. That's right. Unsanctioned. I'm so sorry to ruin his lordship's plan, but Raw's Royal General Manager William Regal seems to have forgotten something. What is Miz talking about? Unsanctioned? Regal forgot that I had the first pick in the draft, so this conspiracy to steal the undisputed WWE Universal Championship for Raw ends tonight. He's not going to do this in the middle of his huge match, is he? The WWE Universal Champion has been drafted to SmackDown. Effective immediately. Miz can't do this. He just did Saxton, and it's brilliant. Come on. Get out of the ring and grab your bags. It's time to go to your new home. Cheer up, Rhodes. I'm sure Regal will give you another chance at the World Heavyweight Championship. Regal doesn't look happy. Speak of the devil. Have a look, Regal. All the I's are dotted, and all the T's are crossed. That's what I thought. Now tell my WWE Universal Champion to get out of that ring and pack his bags. I'm afraid Mr. Mazanin is correct. This rematch is cancelled. And the undisputed WWE Universal Champion is bound for SmackDown. A huge change in the geography of WWE has just taken place in the middle of this championship match. Good luck countering that move in the draft, Regal. Miz just told the whole Raw audience, you want excitement? You come to SmackDown. While a huge question mark continues to hang over the Dark Horse champion. Just use the last pick and draft me back. Come on, Regal. Be smarter. The undisputed WWE Universal Champion has arrived at SmackDown. Without Regal and Reigns, this guy would be working at the concession stand. That's more than an exaggeration, Corey. He put on a show at SummerSlam, and I, for one, think SmackDown got a steal in the draft. Yeah, we'll see. We shall see. If you are enjoying the show, I uh, hope you uh, like consider liking the video, subscribing if you're new. Uh, I am broadcasting in 1440p, so if you have that little uh, stutter or anything, make sure you hit the setting wheel, and you should be able to change it to make it better quality. Let's get our grappling up one. Let's see what Miz has got for us to start. Miz, good to see you too, champ. Come on, what's with the boo-boo face when I'm the one who liberated you from his lordship? I didn't need liberating. But let's skip the pleasantries. You wanted the WWE Universal Champion on SmackDown. Here I am. What I wanted is the undisputed WWE Universal Championship. The champion can be anyone who understands what it means to represent the most must-see sports entertainment show on Earth. If you're looking for must-see, turns out you made the right call. 
I've been waiting for the chance to show the WWE Universe what I am. And whether it's SmackDown or Raw makes no difference to me. Much to my surprise, I dig your attitude. Maybe Regal hasn't ruined you. But if you think you're must-see, let's find out when you defend that WWE Universal Championship against Kevin Owens. I beat KO in the tournament, and I will gladly beat him again. Excellent! And just a heads up, I might come see your match in person. You know, just an impartial observer to get a closer look at the champion I drafted. Absolutely no other reason at all. See you out there! Introducing the challenger from Marieville. The Miz is wasting no time with his new acquisition. We have a WWE Universal Championship match right here, right now on SmackDown. I'm smelling a title change here. KO's a hard man to beat. He's even harder to beat twice. Not that he needs it with the title at stake, but Owens will definitely have some extra motivation after losing to the champ in the opening round at SummerSlam. What now? Uh, stop right to the gut. And Owens able to reverse it. Talk about devastation. Yeah. Owens was scouted there. Yeah. There it is. Boom. Nice. Nice snap suplex. Kicks out. Tried to make short work of things here. Here it comes. Oh, look at this. Oh, kicks. Oh, great. Our GM Miz is here to distract the Dark Horse. He's scouting his new champion. There's a difference. Not today. He knew what was KO getting rolled up here. And that will do it. Another flash win for the WWE Universal Champion. Wait. What is Miz doing? Interception by the champion. Talk about a backfire. And now KO's begging for mercy. Come on, this is unnecessary. Hey, come on. Chair to the gut. This is an all-out assault. Our GM Miz was the one who introduced the chair in the first place. Maybe he thought the champ needed to take a seat after a tiresome match. We don't know. So how do you explain this? Miz looks like a kid caught with his hand in the cookie jar with that table. So much for being an impartial observer. Run, Miz. Get out of there. Looks like the champion might take advantage of that table Miz set up. Another backfire for our GM. He better not go through with this. And down through the table. Yes. Kevin is absolutely laid out. Miz tried to involve himself in this match and managed to hoist himself by his own petard. The WWE Universal Champion has come to SmackDown and he's making a statement to Miz, KO, in the entire WWE Universe. Yeah, well, take a look in the Miz's eyes, Cole. That champion's gonna regret this. sell your Xbox to get the PS5. Well, I mean, there's some good games on Xbox still, man. Like, it's just about a balance. Like, there's Game Pass games I would consider getting Game Pass 4 again just to have it on the PC.
And there's other games on PS5 that are on PlayStation that I've mained for so long I don't want to lose. So it's, it's the best reason for me to have both. I mean, just save up for both, dude. It's going to take time, but hey, you know, saving's worth it. All right, Miz, what you got? What the hell, Miz? Impartial observer? You were passing chairs, setting up tables. I'm surprised you didn't chuck a ladder at me for good measure. Turns out the situation called for a partial observer. It's what's best for the image of the brand. And that would be Kevin Owens? What does he have that I don't? KO's exciting, unpredictable. Yeah, he's a little rough around the edges, but Maurice has her stylist working on a makeover, and there's this amazing jacket being tailored. Look, the point is, KO has promised to be the Miz's undisputed WWE Universal Champion, and that's what matters. Believing a word KO tells you is your first mistake. And more importantly, I've beaten your poster boy. Twice now. Beaten him with a chair. Put him through a table. You mentioned a ladder earlier. Well, let's go there. At Clash at the Castle, you will put the WWE Universal title on the line against KO in a TLC match. Fine. I'm going to walk into that match with my title, and I'll walk out with it too. No, no, no. You will not walk in with the WWE Universal title because it will be hanging high above the ring, right where it belongs. Out of your reach. Well, duh. It's a world title match. And a TLC. Fluke and Debate NFP will not require a charm. Mm -mm -mm. A lot's changed since the last time we spoke in an empty arena. Indeed. That night I gave you an opportunity, and you took full advantage. I guess. Most everyone in the WWE Universe thinks Roman Reigns won me the title, and KO only beat himself to get me there. There will always be doubters. Every WWE Universal Champion will be in the shadow of Roman Reigns in one way or another. At least until someone can break the record with... The well, that's pretty much an impossible goal. Perhaps. My point is that you should take it a step at a time. You'll be the dark horse until one day you turn around and someone calls you the favorite. Patience is one of those virtues I got in short supply. I'm about at my limit for earning this locker room's respect, not to speak of my general manager. Good. Use that. Being the respectful young man can only carry you so far. Remember, I was a villain long before I joined the office. What are you suggesting? To silence the critics once and for all. I would use any means at my disposal. And lucky for you, you have plenty of means available in a TLC match. Show Miz, Owens, and the whole WWE Universe what you truly are. Guess that means I need to figure out who that is. Now would be the time, champ. Now would be the time. Thank you for telling us what to do. Yeah. The following contest is a tables, ladders, and chairs match. And it's for the... It's for the title. TLC, baby. As the undisputed WWE Universal Championship literally hangs in the back. The fresh champion looks to prove himself again against Kevin Owens. Well, not just Kevin Owens. It's Kevin Owens plus tables, ladders, and chairs. I'm no mathematician, but that adds up to a bad night for the champ. Both of these men will leave with bruises tonight, but only one will be leaving with that championship. Oh, man. Oh. Should break the table. Shooting stop! That is the attitude of a daredevil. The ability to take risk with minimal trepidation. Ah. No fear, absolute reckless abandon. The table's doing some magic. Had that one scouted. Oh, colliding with a barricade. Get a big boot. He's doing 
with some dangerous redecorating. I think the table really ties it all together. Off the barricade. Just carrying the opposition anywhere they want. Randy down those right hands, trying to escape. I know I tried. I know I said power bomb. Crashing down like that, having the wind knocked out Thanks, of you. Game. Never a good time for that to happen. Oh, risky business is afoot with the ladder in play now. And he's taking this to the outside now. Carefully setting it up right in the center of the ring. Oh, boy. Perfect placement. Climbing the ladder now. You gotta wonder what he's thinking here, guys. I don't know if he is thinking. Oh. Ow. No, give me that table. Climbing up to the top now. And misses on the springboard. Watch this incredible core strength up and this is great power, masterfully executed Regal Plex. Amazing how smooth that looked. Must be hitting the weight room hard if you could suplex that much weight. Coming back in the ring. Making their way up the ladder right now. This is a nerve-wracking situation. <laughs> Heads out, and he has all the time he wants. A face oh. first. Comes. Good night. What a stunner. Owens running into some trouble. Owens is under the gun. He's got a plan for that table, and it does not involve a dinner party. He wants to make a statement, and this is it. No bigger statement than sending your opponent through a table, Saxton. Here, let me show you. Gentlemen, in the interest of self-preservation, I may have to excuse myself. Saxton, you hang tight. Let this play out. Uh-oh. We're in the table. Yeah, gonna take it to the next level. What is this superstar thinking? They're thinking about the end. Finishing this thing off by any means necessary. amount of devastation. We need help out here. And he goes into the ring. He's setting up the ladder now. Looks like to me he's got it in the right spot, Michael. I can't climb the ladder. Setting foot in the ring now. Game. Game. He switches it back around. out of the ring. No count outs, no worries. Boom! Face first! KO is getting knocked around a bit. Owens is getting shut down at every turn. Moves outside. From the apron! Ah. Brutal impact after taking a gigantic gamble like that. He's heading back to the ring. Sure, that ladder's in place. Appears to be in no rush either, Cole. Come on, hurry up already. Positioning it right in the center of the ring. The only thing left to do now is climb it, Cole. Who's looking to get up that ladder, guys? 
left. A long way. He is fixing to take it all here. It's a bit of a risky move right here. Big time. Coming up. Look at this. That ladder is positioned perfectly. For the victory. Chuck Slayer, baby. Set up. Shaking impact delivered from up on high. All the way from the top of the ladder. Rampage. Man. Hey, don't look now, but that ladder is lined up perfectly. Showtime. Got a hold of it. Yeah, let's see how long that lasts. Come on, you got to move quicker than this. For once, I agree with you. Yeah. That's it. The champ stays the champ. Here is your winner, and still the undisputed WWE Universal Champion, Daniel the Astral Douglas. Champ, apparently Tony D'Angelo. Chairs match and with Tony. What the rock is cooking. About to beat you with the chair, Tony. Watch out. Hold on to your seats as this one gets underway. We'll see if this match lasts longer than a catering line for the champ. Allegedly. If the allegations are true, the Dark Horse should be ashamed. As WWE Universal Champion, he's supposed to set the example. He is. Why else would you want to be have a seat. not for the perks? Glory, uh, honor, and the best piece of prime rib. Every successive move is putting the ah. opponent in a Tony, don't situation. do that. <laughs> oh, man. Look at this. Boom. Nice. in time and that was some vicious DDT we just saw and that's got to disrupt Tony's focus yeah I don't think Tony can focus with that caught in a bad position here down brutal battling at ringside can be very unforgiving you have to be careful out there no protection out here no safe confines to speak of and well timed maneuver there D'Angelo looking powerless to every attack Tony's on the wrong side of every exchange. Oh, great. Rearranging our ringside furniture here. Surprised he made that jump. Desk. What a mess. Everyone get out of the way. These two are abandoning all restraints. Taken down by the neck. Bring the planks. Stay put, Tony. Okay, he's re-entering the ring. Headed to the top rope. Soaring. Yeet. <laughs> Clearly holding nothing back. Using that well-placed table to great effect. Sister Abigail. Oh. Now Tony is getting beaten down. Tony's on the wrong side of every exchange. Here it comes, Corey. Here we go. Brought a knee right to the face. Oh, driving a forearm into the jaw. Good night. Steps to the kidneys. Not with steps to the kidneys, Tony.
efficiency of attacks from him now. Just an onrush of offense here. Uh oh. Buries a Ow. knee to the body. Tony, stop kneeing me. Short jabs to the rib cage. Those are agonizing. Placed it over into a suplex. Wow. Abdominal stretch. No one wins with that, Tony. You should know better. Oh, no. One of the most dreaded maneuvers in all of sports entertainment. Vertebreaker. Tony's pretty strong. He's not bleeding yet. Has become the strategy here. There it is. A forearm into the jaw. Good night. Ooh. That was strong impact. And he keeps his focus on an attack to that area. Was ready for that. And there was some force on that move. One wicked attack after another. Shredded apart right now. He's just on the wrong side of every maneuver. Back straight into the post on the outside. Boom. Head first. Whip back into the ring. Check to the gut. And a big right hand. Takes him on the spine buster. D'Angelo one step ahead. A good grapple. Oh, good slam. Holding on. How about another? Establishing complete control. He's absorbed some damage already. Makes him pay with a counter. I missed you. I wanted to knee you in the face again. Counters. Oh, that got turned around on deep. Nice takedown. Could be looking for the triangle. Got to pass the arm. It's cinched in. I think we're just moments away from seeing a tap out. He needs to break this submission, and the left hands will do it. He cut off with a kick to the gut. Tony tied that one. Now what are they doing here? All the way up. No. He turns it around. Sister Abigail. Does he have him here? <laughs> wow. Part of me thought that was it, Cole. Oh, oh. God, what an elbow. 
Tony. Shot to the face gets him out of that spot. DDT. Angelo one step ahead. Over and over. Establishing complete control. Reigns down an elbow retaliation. Locks in the pump handle. What the? Oh, my goodness. That's got to be it. There's two. Oh, finally got him. I can't believe this match is finally over. Here is your winner, Daniel Unnatural Douglas. The Dark Horse is on a roll. For now, Saxton, the WWE Universal title puts a target on his back every time he even enters an arena. The win was stolen right out of D'Angelo's hands. When you're as powerful as Tony D is, everyone's out to get you. Face set to for a finisher. You know it's the Mac Militant. Come and get it all. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, way. I'm coming to thunder and lightning. I'm striking. I'm inviting you all to the storm. I feel the pain that I try to contain. My heart is black as the blood in my veins. And I'm coming to get it all. And your heart break and smash. And straight with bad. I can see the fear in your eyes every time that I pass. I'm intimidating the most and fear by many. But do trip me. I leave the place empty. I'm low down, pretty and shifty. I'm low down, people against me. Even the best be afraid. Cause I approach it aggressively. Especially when they roll up and test me. Hey, up so I'm a disciplined militant mind. Lower body ground. Okay. Look for a style like mine, you can't find it. Call me the L to the ACK. I break rules if you want to come and make my day. Now say, get out of my way. I'm coming to. What's up, Spencer? How you doing, man? What's it like having the maxed out? War bonds. <laughs> I heard about the uh, the sniper was really good. Hello, champ. I hope you'll forgive an old timer button in your business. But it seems you've got yourself an Irish storm brewing. Seamus has been telling everyone your reign is about finished. Now, my fighting days may be behind me, but there's no way I'd let a comment like that stand. I reckon you show that Irish warrior you're not close to finished in a... Still to finish any. Yeah, I mean, trail. from what I've seen from some videos, it's an interesting war bond. We'll showcase that here later. Devastating finishing moves. If I were in the dark horse's shoes, I'd be praying to avoid the bro kick from Sheamus. Well, if the champ is in that ring praying, he's quickly going to be prey and yesterday's news. Submission time. Dragon sleeper applied. This one. I uh, tried somehow to work his way out of the dragon 
sleeper and does. Boom, running oh. FTO plants him. Nicely done. Getting him into the corner. Seamus, I like your theme, 2010. Ah. Absolutely spiked. DDT. Oh, costly error there. Boom. Whoa. Oh, just completely off target Whiffed there. It. Wildly throwing your body out of the ring like that is more often than not going to provide such a result. That was an example of boldness backfiring. No, you can't put me in the front row. Which can close it up. It's fine. Done. And now thrown back into the ring. And he's pulled the ring apron up, looking under there for something. Ah. Oh, man. Ow. Dodges. My turn. Solid connection. So far, nothing really crazy for being the bad guy. Springboard misses the target. This match grinding. Yeah, really haven't had any opportunities to join the Miz and do stuff yet. Day. He's back into the ring. Wow. Sheamus is strong. Oh. Return fire on the Celtic Warrior. Yep, my phone just decided to update on its own. It's creepy. And a series of vicious stomps. You got to wonder if there's more animosity in this match than we previously thought. Foot DDT. Oh, my God. Springboard moonsault. Wow. Carefully placed stomp to the arm. Oh, wicked kick to the lower back. Man, oh, man. Corey, you've got to be impressed with what we're seeing right here. Yeah, all right, all right. The fight is being taken to Sheamus. Yeah, Sheamus is getting beaten down. Oh, yeah, Man. Time to hit the finisher. Oh, uh, Corey, look at this. Pump handle locked in. That will do it. Not getting up from that one, so it's cold. Here is your winner. can keep the WWE Universal Champion down. The right man might not have shown up yet, but he will sooner or later in this fluke run. I know how this went. <laughs> oh, so I can go back to it. Okay, it's kind of cool. in a nine title match. Let's do it. Bring on the Omos. And you're looking at a superstar who comes into this match as a reigning champion. You can just tell he's got oh. some extra swagger to him, knowing he's a title holder. To Ow. be a champion, you have to be among the best. Not he again. knows he's currently at the top of his game. And in this match, he's got a chance to once again prove that fact. 
And he's got more than his hands could hold in the form of Omos. The Nigerian giant has been on a wrecking path ever since he landed in WWE. When Omos is around, you're only standing in his shadow. And that's a lonely, scary place to be. Ooh. Look at this. Snap suplex. What a throw of the much larger opponent. Have you seen how much you're selling Cody's belt for on the shop? I saw the basic one that's just regular $499 one. They got one signed by Cody. Placed into the corner. Um, yeah, one signed by Cody for seven. And they got one signed by Cody with a WrestleMania inscription. Does the official not see him removing the turn for a thousand dollars that they just sent by email as an exclusive offer? It's crazy. Gets him in position. This is not going to end. Perched on the top rope, looking to inflict even more damage. Oh my God! Not from up there. What on earth? Oh my God! And the official calls it. Clearly, they cannot fight any longer. Pull the ring boards, Troy. have been taken so one of these superstars the will be the only thing taken down can't counter it there we go oh. the, the, cover with the, title on the, line. the challenger kicks out after one very soon to be going for a pinfall <laughs> if this works it could change the course of the nope. match Trying to hit the whisper in the wind. Just one step ahead. There we go. Oh my gosh, what impact. Got that Jeff Hardy. Carefully placed stomp to the arm. Ridiculous standing shooting star. Sometimes you just gotta show off and show out. Boom. Oh my god, a DDT! Spiked him. Oh no, trapping the arm. A vicious stomps to the hand. The champion imposing their will with total disregard. Holy cow, I'm dizzy. Now that's what you call impact. Uh-oh. Oh, absolutely throwing all caution to the wind. Spitting in the face of danger. Diddy! And the pressure on Omas continues to I think he'll be Omos back by the summer. To weather a storm here. Take a few months off. Recover. Oh, stop right to the hand. Probably him and Rollins will take at least a month. Like that will weaken you mentally as much as it does physically. He'll head to the ring. Don't do it! Omas messing with him, clearly trying to force an error. Oh, don't worry about me, ref. For making clear, this is in fact not that kind of match. Look out! No. Nope. Oh God, that, that, that's a bad landing. Brash decision making yeah. there proved to be extremely detrimental. Can you recover from such an error? 
You have to wonder. Hoist it up. Samoa driver. Nice. The challenger not looking good right now. Yeah, but you can't count anyone out yet. This match could still go either way. A calculated attack here against Omas. Yeah, Omas has to plot a way to get back into this. Goodness gracious. The champion sending a message. There's no mercy here. Stump puller leg snap. Very effective. Omas Ow. changes the direction of that one. Look at this. Ah. Just disrespect right there. I kind of like it. Ooh, stinging kick. He moved, but can he capitalize? Damn, seven four. That's crazy. Kicks directly to the chest. Unrelenting attack from the challenger there. You can see their desire for the goal. Heads outside, but this one has to end in the ring. He is getting rid of the turnbuckle pad. Don't say that too loud, Saxon. He might get caught. Oh, what's the matter, MVP? I hurt you, dude. Yeah, I went to the MVP lounge, or the uh, VIP lounge. What's up? Well, well, well. All hail the conquering hero. <sighs> Troy. What's got you so excited? Other than I finally got that promotion to producer. Probably the fact that your stock is on the rise, too. The response to your TLC match with KO was off the charts, and you've been on a roll ever since. I know my boss, Miz, has been taking notice. Okay. So what do you and Miz have for me tonight? Network sweeps are coming up, so we need to pop a big rating. And with your newfound popularity around the office, Miz has something very special planned for his undisputed WWE Universal Champion. That is the kind of cryptic answer that makes me uneasy. And when I'm uneasy, I get on edge. And when I'm on edge, that makes me want to go out there and create some chaos. Do you want me to create some chaos, Troy? Yes! That's exactly the kind of programming we want during sweeps. So head out to the ring, and we'll get to see how your chaos and Mrs. Big Surprise play out. Troy, I will head to the ring. And I don't care what Miz has up his sleeve. I'm going to tell your boss exactly what I think of him and his big plan for sweeps. Great! According 
to backstage sources, the Miz is something special planned for the WWE Universal Champion. That Miz is willing to let bygones be bygones after all this guy has done is honestly inspiring. What a leader. I haven't been on SmackDown very long. But if there's one thing I've learned, it's that when our GM has a must-see announcement, it's generally bad news for me. So Miz, I'm not gonna sit back and wait for you to try to pull one over on me. Whatever big surprise you have planned, I'm ready for it. Right now! Gotta admire the champion trying to do things on his own terms. Come on, Miz! What do you got? If Miz was expecting to intimidate him, doesn't seem to be working. Hellfire and brimstone! It's Kane! Talk about a big surprise! It's the big red machine! But where is he? Kane is in the ring! With a huge right hand! Kane's got him by the throat! Oh no! Say goodnight, champ! Look! champion where the heck is he going when you're on the defensive against Kane anything goes yeah and the title is not on the line but the champion looks as ready as ever now, I'm not gonna lie I had written this competitor off from pretty much jump but their title win proved me wrong and that's not something that happens often well we all know it Corey nonetheless tonight is a huge test for this title holder but Kane's a demonic force to be reckoned with. You can already tell he's gonna have a lot of fun doing everything he can to break his opponent down in this one. The idea of Kane having fun might be the scariest thing I've heard all night. It's like a heat-seeking missile coming at you. And the explosion occurring ringside. With the Irish whip. Kane reverses it. Oh, my goodness. Did you hear the ring steps? They heard that in Syracuse. Stop trying to suck up to Cole, Saxton. This has to stop. The WWE Universal Champion needs medical attention. No, not this. Not the choke slam on the steel steps. Straight to hell, champ. This is horrific. It serves him right. He said he was ready for whatever Miz had planned. That kind of hubris has consequences. Speaking of consequences, you have to wonder if the Miz understands the ramifications of what he's unleashed. I don't think he does. The Big Red Machine has his demented eyes set on becoming the next WWE Universal Champion. Buckle up. This is going to be one hell of a ride. I hear voices in my head. They counsel me. They understand. All right. So if you remember what happened last time, it means we've got a casket match coming up. Now we get to choose between if we have Lita helping us or this guy, Dirty Dominic Mysterio. Uh, hey Dom, what's up? I know things started out rough between us going for the WWE Universal title. It was dog eat dog, but I get it, because it was just like that in the yard back when I was in the joint. I, uh, sure thing man, water under the bridge. This thing Miz has going on with you and Kane, it ain't right. But I think I might know a way you can take care of that big red freak. I am definitely open to some advice. Especially since I hear Miz is going to announce a title match against Kane. Glad you're willing to listen, but not here. Miz has got stooges creeping everywhere. You want my help with Kane? Meet me out in the parking lot. So now we have to make the choice. Are we going to work with Dirty Dom or are we going to work with Lita? So we're going to meet Dirty Dominic in the parking lot or are we going to go with Lita for a little adventure? I'll keep that in mind. Lita actually offered to help me out too. Seems like you got to make a choice then. 
get help from Cain's old flame, or fight fire with real fire. Me. Yeah, so last time we did work with Lita. So this time... All right. I'm in. I'll see you in the parking lot after the show. Not if I see you first. Yeah, we went, we went down to Mexico, fought the uh, the extra large luchador. Dominic over to the bottom of the ramp. I don't know where the ramp is. This ramp? Yeah, that one. But first. I'm just going to go climb this. No, no big deal. Taking the elevator. <laughs> That's funny. Well, oh, definitely a little something interesting and different. Plus, there should be a lot of environmental grapples to do. I'm sure some of these are just finishers only, but... We'll still try. throw him into the elevator, that'd be funny. <laughs> oh, not jump off. Damn it. It's fine. Say this is a bit wild. Yeah, I know there's a there's a way to throw them into the light. I just don't know how to do it. But let's try to get him over here to the window. Not 
today, kiddo. Give me my belt. Solid punch. Damn, son. Why are you trying to break my jaw? Because you jumped me in a parking lot. I thought I was meeting you out here to talk. Man, I wasn't jumping you. This is how we do it in maximum security. You gotta jump the new fish into the gang. Maximum security? You were in jail for like a day. Don't worry about all that. All that matters now is we're brothers. Whatever. It's gonna take the same thing to take out a monster like Kane. Becoming his brother? I think he already has one. Nah. <laughs> Prison rules. One of my boys, he can get me a discount on a taser. A taser? That's right. Kane's gonna get got when he least expects it. I'm not so sure this is the way to go. Nah. We're brothers for life. Remember? I got you, dog. Prison rules! Wait, Dom, seriously? Mm. Okay. Stand back. There's a hurricane coming through. Make a deal with Dominic. Trophy unlocked. Getting dirty with Dom. Yes, yes. Casket match against Kane. Taser has been acquired. Where are you going to get it to me? <laughs> Oh boy. The following contest is a casket match. And introducing the challenger from Submissions, disqualifications, or countouts. The only way to win is for a superstar to force their opponent inside of the casket. After closing the casket lid shut, the remaining superstar will be declared the winner. No matter how many times I've seen a casket match, they still make me feel a little uneasy. Could you imagine being trapped in one of those? That's a natural reaction, Cole, but here's the freaky part. Kane sees that casket, and he gets excited. He loves it. The champ hasn't faced anything like this in his career. Is this the night his championship is put to rest? No other way to say it, guys. That looked like it hurt a lot. Body leg drop. That's right. Let's go, Kane. Springboard. Shooting star to the floor. That's playing fast and loose with your own body. That is weaponizing your body. That's what that was. Springboard. Shooting star press. Unbelievable athleticism. Just going for it all and landing a direct hit. Right. Yeah. So the big red machine is now under heavy pressure. It really looks like Kane's struggling right now. Oh my god, a DDT! Spike them. Busted open already? Kane, dang. A little weak. In the face there, bud. Toss back into the ring. Irish whip attempt, but Kane won't budge. Choke slam coming. Mm. Look out. Straight to hell. I think the champion is out, guys. Uh oh. And now Kane looks to capitalize. He's going to open up that casket and bury the champion once and for all. Are we ready for SmackDown's Big Red Machine era? I know I am. There he is. Dominic Mysterio is in the casket? Mysterio just tased Kane. I can't believe this. Is this legal? There are no disqualifications in a casket match, Michael. Where's See? I knew the champion was a cheat. <laughs> I hate to agree with you, Corey, but this doesn't look good. Enlisting the help of Dirty Dom with a freaking taser. Well, now you see why Miz wants anybody but this guy to be WWE Universal Champ. 
He's gonna tase me. Oh shit. With a taser Turn around. Sat right up. And Mysterio's caught. Kane's got the taser. Taser to Dominic. This is insane. <laughs> That's enough already. The Universal Champion takes out Kane from behind. And after all that, we're back to square one. Except for Dom getting some high voltage. Well, at least he's still alive. This is true. He's still alive. This isn't a match anymore. It's a fight for survival. Oh, a short knee right to the body. Taking aim to the back of the neck. Oh, no. One of the most dreaded maneuvers in all of sports entertainment. Verna Breaker. Ridiculous standing shooting star. The champ using every tool they have to protect their reign. Continuing to attack the neck. Oh, draped over the top rope. Oh, that's not what I wanted. From the middle rope. Wow! From the rope to the floor. Good Lord. That is reckless abandon being shown. And paying off as well. No. Holy meet the barricade. Both superstars showing great awareness of their opponent's repertoire. A no. steady stream of... I see that. Why is it frozen? There we go. Moves taking out. All right, Kane. let's see how about now. Kane has to turn this around and quick. Here we go. To the German. Thanks, Spencer. Let me know. Oh man, meeting the barricade. Kane managing to get some control back now. Yeah, Kane's survival instincts are taking over. Oh, and they just busted out an impactful maneuver. Dang. I was going to do that. It's like Kane knew. Eats a punch to the face. Oh. Here we go. Time to work on some aggression. Looks like a hockey fight just broken up. Big shots being fired right now. Neither competitor letting up. Oh, man. Oh, he knew what was coming. Oh, I missed it. Reversals, reversals, and more reversals. Oh, no. Oh, stop right to the gut. Nope. Not a tombstone. Ah, uh, classic. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh. Stone pile driver. This ends now. Sorry, big guy. Has free reign to the outside with no count outs to worry about. Fist directly to the gut. Wow, look at that punishment. Incredible. What happens next is anyone's guess. I can't wait to see. With an uppercut. This has all been boiling over and it's officially spilled out into the crowd. And I get wanting to get your hands on someone bad, but they could do this in a less unpredictable environment. Four right to the jaw. Ringside barriers couldn't contain this match. No telling where they'll end up now. No count from the official, but he makes it back to ringside. Finally, looks like they've had their fill of excitement from the WWE Universe. Oh, you can tell he's feeling it now. This fight is pumping him up. He's got a chair. To the ring. Check this out. This is going to blow your mind. Oh, oh my goodness. Ooh. Ridiculous standing shooting star. 
Kane is losing grip on this match right now. Kane has to turn this around and quick. Oh my gosh. I don't stop anybody. Jumping knee strike. I like that. We've done one of those in a while. Oh, into the casket they go. Oh no. Rest in pieces. He's outside the ring now. Hope he's got a plan. Can they close the casket with the... the oh, Not okay. I got to do a lot more work on him. This one yet. Apparently closing that casket is easier said than done. He leaves the ring and there's no countouts in this one. He's definitely being the aggressor here. Got to hit him with all the finishers, moment. all the signatures. Kane keeps him away. Setting up for something here. Oh. Down into the casket. Desperately trying to. And then he survives. He's not horribly hard, but difficult, yes. Aw, oh, boo. And returning to the ring. This one might be headed ringside. Nope. He gets back into the ring. Ha <laughs> ha! Down you go. Hey, don't close the lid. Okay. Back. Oh. Shoulder tackle sends their opponent into the casket. Shut the lid and it's over. Trying to close the lid, trying, this is going to be tough. And they're able to fight their way out of the casket. They Guess we need to get him down to like that's ridiculous. zero. He's back into the ring. Out of the ring, what's his plan here? Driven down. Kick to the midsection. Him two finishers. Wicked driver. The window for opportunity is wide open. Can't waste any time now. Oh, uh, here we go. Suplex. Oh, my gosh. Into a pile driver. You can say he's on life support already. Just got to get him in the casket now. Sends their opponent into the casket. Now, this one may be over. Doing their best to try and close the casket. Just delaying the inevitable. Still not enough. Well, for that Four finishers? <laughs> how the hell did they survive? I don't know how he survived. All right, back to it. Returning to the ring. Oh, I missed you. I wanted to knee you in the face again. A steady stream of moves taking out Kane. The big red monster showing weakness here. DDT! Spike them. Look at this. Incredible. <laughs> to the German. Oh, no. One of the most dreaded maneuvers in all of sports entertainment. Verna Breaker. He got whipped into that corner. And it's a long way down. What are we going to see here? This superstar in their wheelhouse. Superplex. Well, what is not done? Not done. With a Falcon Arrow chaser. And he can't defend any offense coming his way. Yeah, and he keeps struggling to slow the opposition down. DDT. Oh, he's 
Busting up their opponent for a suplex. Oh my goodness, what a pile driver. The champ has this one in hand now. Tossed into the casket. It's about to get very dark in there. Trying to force the casket close to end this. The there we go. WWE Universal Champion laid Cade to rest once and for all. I can't believe he defeated the Big Red Machine at his own game. What an incredible victory here tonight. Sure, but let's not gloss over the fact he cheated to do it. Come on, Corey. Whoa, wait. What's going on? It's Roman Reigns. Bravo. Congratulations. The Dark Horse manages to win another race. And I didn't even have to win it for you this time. Did you forget? You're only standing there because of me. The locker room hasn't forgotten. The WWE Universe hasn't. And they won't. You can hold my WWE Universal title for a year. Two years. Why not three? It doesn't matter. You're just a tenant. I'm the landlord. You're holding something that doesn't belong to you because its owner has other interests. For now. Later, Chew. Was that really necessary from Roman Reigns? I detected no lies, Cole. Roman Reigns somehow just made a huge win for the WWE Universal Champion feel like a loss. Close the wood on the casket match. Thanks, Regal. Always good. The Miz. A taser? Seriously? What is this? 1998 WCW? Yes. You were the one who brought in the literal undead demon to fight me as a rating stunt. I think a little fighting fire with fire was justified. Well, it was embarrassing for the brand. Your big moment of triumph ended with Roman Reigns burying my champion deeper than you buried Kane. Then maybe Roman ought to come back and try his luck. I would love that. Roman is must-see. The only must-see thing about you is the target on your back. I'm the undisputed WWE Universal Champion, Miz. There's always a target on my back. Yeah, there is. Everyone in that locker room is circling you like sharks because they can taste the blood in the water. Roman's right. You're just champion. For now. I guess we'll find out, boss. I think I'm part of a gang now. And after all was said and done, Becky Lynch won the WWE Women's Championship. The man is once again the man, and the WWE Universe could not be happier. The same can't be said on Raw, where the World Heavyweight Championship has been moving around like a hot potato. Well, if you want championship consistency, look no further than SmackDown. General Manager The Miz has been obsessed with dethroning the WWE Universal Champion, but the man many call the Dark Horse has now become the workhorse, turning back every challenge. If he successfully defends the title against Drew McIntyre in a Falls Count Anywhere match at SummerSlam, he will have been champion for a full year. Speaking of championship streaks, Gunter will look to continue his amazing run as the longest running intercontinental champion of all time at SummerSlam when he defends his title. The final is a Falls Count Anywhere match. I don't know yet. I don't know when Miz and I are going to be besties. I think it's closer to year two, if I recall. So they offered the uh, chance to jump to the other ship. They got the 
Yeah, Drew McIntyre, soccer chance. Days with his title. Can you think of a champion who's had a tougher year? Oh, he's getting it from all sides. The Miz has won the title off of him since day one. No one said this would be easy. I'm shocked the so-called Dark Horse has had the title for a year. Almost a year? He has to get past Drew McIntyre tonight in this brutal Falls Count Anywhere match. Release German. That was a massive suplex. There's core strength, and then there's what we just saw. And just like that, we kicked the tempo up a notch. Let's take this outside, shall we? Springboard! Shooting star to the floor. Just a devil may care attitude on full display. Going for broke, and it pays off. Not the steps. He's rummaging for some sort of equalizer underneath the ring. Ooh, trap that chair way right down. Uh-oh. Able to capitalize on McIntyre's mistake. Going up here. <laughs> anger boiling over, all coming to a head up on the stage. As we can only see, it's only getting worse by the second, Michael. Look at this. Boom, nice. Plenty of ways to get creative up on the entrance area. Also plenty of ways to get yourself seriously hurt. for serious injury just went way up. These superstars are starting to get very imaginative right now. You have to think someone's looking at that stage and getting some dark thoughts. And a series of vicious stomps. Foot was in overdrive there, and the challenger is rocked. And finds a counter. He's burying elbows in the midsection. This could spell doom for McIntyre. Sister Abigail! Good night. There are a lot of ways this can go sideways. Everything on that stage looks like it hurts. And now McIntyre is being neutralized. Rarely do we see Drew get disassembled like this. He knew that was coming. A counter answered by another counter. Can I not go backstage? Really? It's false count anywhere. I can't go anywhere. Knees up, oh. got the knees up at the last second. Great wherewithal on the counter. Uh, ducking underneath. This is a unique move. Verna breaker. Is it enough? The cover. Two. Kicking out in time. What a match. Lifted off the mat. Suplex position. For coming. Now that is why they're the champ. Still in this, the title hangs in the balance. Somehow, this title is still up for grabs. Now might be a good time to regroup, rethink your plan. What's the tally on how many times we thought this match was coming to an end? I can't count anymore. For the win! There's two! Got it. And the champ adds to their legacy. Here is your winner. And the Undisputed WWE Universal Champion Daniel The Natural Douglas. The Undisputed WWE Universal Champion with another victory.
I am not a tomato good, sir. Just because my face is red doesn't mean I'm a tomato. Dummies. If you told me a year ago that you would still be WWE Universal Champion, I wouldn't have believed it. I am delighted to disappoint you. Am I disappointed? You're a draw. For some reason, people seem to like you. It's just that damn insistence on doing the exact opposite of everything I say that drives me nuts. I've never been great with authority. How long are we going to keep doing this? I am the most must-see general manager in SmackDown's history. You're the WWE Universal Champion with all the momentum. So what if we work together instead of being at each other's throats? Because this right now, this feels like yet another trap you're trying to spring. Call it a choice between the carrot and the stick. The carrot is, I make you into a cross-platform superstar like WWE has never seen. Of course, you'll need to have a bit of an attitude change and be willing to get your hands dirty. Okay. The stick is, reject my offer, and if you think it's been a hard year, you can't even imagine what's coming next. After Interesting. Maybe that's exactly what I do. What the hell does that mean? What it means is I hear NXT is a really cool brand. Never been. Maybe I take the undisputed WWE Universal Championship, head down to NXT, and go after the title that Roman never won. What? You have a contract. You can't just walk off my show. I don't know. After this past year, I think I've shown I can do just about whatever I want. Fine. You have a choice to make. Okay, so it's a lot sooner. Um, last time we went to NXT, this time we're going to team with The Miz. You know what, Miz? You're a devious SOB. And maybe that's a side of myself I need to tap into to get out of Roman's shadow. Let's do it. Yes! That is what I'm talking about! I knew you had ambition. We are going to rule the galaxy and everything beyond! If you say so. The point is, I have big plans for you. You're about to become a major crossover star. Tell me something. Do you like video games? Slade is back. So, I finally get to lay eyes on the man holding the WWE Universal title. It is. Thanks. Yeah. Huh. I guess there are benefits to being a champion. They Who might knows? not be afraid of me before we get in the ring, but I guarantee they are afterwards. You're lucky you get a chance to show them. Me? Everyone watched me get stripped of my title. And then, just when I thought I'd get my shot against the lock, the newly crowned champion, it was like everyone just turned the page. You have no idea what it's like to feel like you're just a supporting character in somebody else's story. Left wondering what might have been. Yeah, that's tough. Like you don't know the name, Slade. I've been in WWE for 11 years, with a name the powers that be are terrified of. A name they refuse to let anywhere near a title match. Not against me. No offense, but everyone I've gone up against has done a lot of talking about how I don't deserve a title, and yet, I'm still here. Too bad the higher-ups, and you, will never get... You want a title shot. How about you go out and earn it? After a few minutes with you, it's clear the only thing you're worthy of holding a title in is complaining. You sound just like Shawn Michaels and The Lock. Too afraid of what I can do. Xavier Woods. Our truth. What's truth got? What's up, Dark Horse? I'm glad you're here. You look like a man who would appreciate the opportunity of a lifetime. Wouldn't everybody appreciate the opportunity of a lifetime? I don't know. I haven't asked everybody. <laughs> Fair enough. Okay. 
So what's the opportunity? This has got everything. Exotic locale, untold riches, once-in-a-lifetime experiences, and everything is for a really important cause. Any one of those things by itself will probably be enough to say yes. Yeah. It almost sounds too good to be true. That's because it is. Most of that stuff I just made up. I was trying to spark your interest. But I am offering you a chance to help an important cause. All you have to do is come to SmackDown in Wisconsin a day early and do a charity match to help a great organization that helps find seeing-eyed people to care for blind dogs. Seeing-eyed people to care for blind dogs. Let's you do it. You sure that's right? Usually the people are blind. Blind people and blind dogs? <laughs> I guess they could bond over their shared experience, but no one's going to know where they're going. <laughs> we better get up there fast. You in? Yeah. I'm sure whatever this cause really is, it helps someone who needs it. An extra day of travel for a good cause? Hmm. What could go wrong? Oh, lots of stuff. Flat tires? <laughs> you could forget to pack your underwear? Could run out of gas? But we're taking a plane. I always remind the pilots to fill up. And I'm almost positive they sell underwear in Wisconsin. So, I think we're good. See you there. We didn't see this last time. This is funny. Sounds good, Truth. Let's see what this is all about. Blind people and blind dogs. Let's go, Truth. Man. The snow really coming down out there, huh? Yeah. So, what happened to the charity match? Don't you remember we were just talking about the snow coming down? Only an idiot would travel in this weather. None of the dogs or the people could make it. Aw, no dogs or people. We've got SmackDown in a couple of hours, and there's only a couple of other wrestlers here. We won't even have a crowd tonight. I know. Troy just texted. He and Miz are stuck in Chicago. I'm not sure when they might get here. That's what I was afraid of. Sounds like we have no choice but to fall back onto the line of secession. And as the longest tenured locker room member and fifth in line to run things, I am in acting protocol 48 and naming myself acting GM. I mean, he is the longest tenured. What are you talking about? Protocol 48? Did, did you just make that up? Yes, but as my <laughs> first order of business as acting GM, I'm writing protocol 48 which names the acting GM in charge of everything. I had a strange feeling this was going to happen when I heard Miz was stuck in Chicago. So I went ahead and pulled the locker room, and everyone agreed they really wanted title shots. Oh boy. I bet they did. I guess part of being in charge is saying no. Why would I say no? I can't look like I'm playing favorites on my first day on the job. I run a democratic administration, and the people have voted. What? I fly in early to help you in some charity out, and this is the thanks I get? Charity isn't about what you get. It's about what you give. And first up, you be giving Robert Roode a title shot. And since everyone is trying to dig their way out of the snow, it's going to be a shovels match. <laughs> By the way, how do you think I'm doing so far as GM? I think this will be one of the most amazingly bad situations in the history of WWE. I stopped listening at amazing. Good luck out there, champ. <laughs> Our truth is great. That's funny. Shovels match because they're all stuck in the snow. Do I have my gear on? No, I don't. There's a group of French circus performers heading up to a college giggle right away. Ride with them. Great. Shovel match. There's no one here. <laughs> the following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the undisputed WWE Universe. And the crowd goes mild. time champion around the world there is no one else as glorious i 
can think of some people. Well, according to Robert Roode, no one measures up in the ring or on the entrance ramp because nobody makes an instant impact quite like Robert Roode does. He's held the NXT title, Tag Team Championship, the United States title. Robert Roode is all business. I like Robert, too. It's a shame he got hurt. Can't wrestle anymore. But he's a good producer. Ready to make some noise in this silent arena. The Dark Horse. Hey, they can't boo me. Because there's no one here. <laughs> A title match from nobody. Challenger from Toronto, Ontario, Canada. Weighing in at 235 pounds. The Glorious Robert Roode. There is no prize bigger in this industry. The owner of that... Mother Nature may have silenced the crowd, but the roar of champions will echo in the arena as interim GM R-Truth has deemed every match tonight will be a title showdown. And we're kicking it off with a shovels match? It's really too bad we're the only ones to see this live. They should make the loser clear the sidewalk ah. outside so we can actually get some fans in here to enjoy this. He just barely oh. dodges. Dodges the attack just a smidge quicker. Good timing with that reversal. Yikes. Oh no, the shovel right to the head. Great reversal. Watch out. Ow. Oh, he countered my possum attack. Good for him. Thrown back in under the ropes. Yeah, his ex-tag partner, uh, James Storm. Kick to the stomach. Puts They're an good end to TNA. that. Oh, beer money. Oh, right to the kidneys. Come and Chris please. Harris. And Rude reverses. When he was uh, America's Most Wanted off. in TNA. Looking wobbly in the corner. Face full of turnbuckle. Close line in the corner. Oh, and a shoulder right to the midsection. Taking it outside the ring now. Able to get the advantage here. And he heads out of the ring. No count outs, no worries. He turns it around. Oh, my gosh. Oh, I hope they back up. They're... They're getting too close for comfort. Oh, no one's paying attention to you, Saxon. They're too busy beating the tar out of each other. Ah, oh, I took off the uh, the hood of the announce table. Jeez. Now there go the monitors. Bad intentions in mind here. Come on, Byron, get in front of me. No. I hope he, he doesn't go out of the way. The ring. He's heading up top. They're flying. Oh my! Just an absolute eruption of the table. It turned that table into kindling. Sister Abigail. Corey, you're talking, but your lips aren't moving. Oh, oh man. Oh, look at what a blow. Carefully measured right. He must have seen that coming. And Zagiri finds its mark. Boom. The challenger is not in a great place. This is where endurance becomes so important in the late stages of the match. Oh, my goodness. This is kind of how the first couple matches were in COVID when uh, they had the empty arena before they did the soundboards of people. Oh, what a power slam. Looking for the victory. One. Two. That's it. And the 
champ stands tall once again. Here is your winner, and Alliances, I have I sold out. Interesting. Let's get the submission up. Truth, what you got for me? Oh, he put a suit on. Look at Truth. Good for him. Dark Horse, thanks for coming in. I was hoping you had a minute to discuss your performance review. I mean, Truth is a former NWA World's Heavyweight Champion. You have a suit? I always have a suit with me every time I travel. What if the hotel has a pool? <laughs> Did you forget yours? I might have an extra, or else we can always take turns. I meant the suit you're wearing. Oh, this? Once I became GM, I started reading up on some business concept. One tip was, dress for the job you want, not the job you have. So while you were in the ring, I was looking to see if there was an astronaut suit laying around. I struck out on that front, but I found this baby in MVP's locker and thought maybe I should put it on so I could look more authoritative. Luckily, MVP said it didn't fit him too well, so he didn't mind if I borrowed it. But I shouldn't have agreed to come on this trip with you. That grouchy attitude is exactly why I wanted to have this performance review. I'm looking for team players. You know teamwork makes the dream work. This is a nightmare. That's spirit. Now make sure you keep that mentality when you get out there for your next title defense. While I was looking around for the astronaut suit, I noticed something. The aisle numbers go in order. 11, 12, 13. Also, with no people in the arena, this place is really big. So for your next match, I want you and Chad Gable to really explore the space. Just like two astronauts. Except, there will be gravity. Uh, thanks for making that clear. No problem. As long as I'm GM, I don't want anyone out there thinking I've suspended gravity and they can't fall. You can. <laughs> and in this match, those falls will count anywhere. Got it? Falls count anywhere title match against Chad Gable. All because our GM is a borrowed suit-wearing space cadet. Maybe someday. <laughs> uh. Let's do it. Got onto a bus of seniors heading home from Riverboat Casino weekend. Hold on tight. All right. Oh. The following contest is a four. The empty arena goes Introducing wild. Introducing the challenger from Minneapolis. Using an empty arena for a false count anywhere Let's match. Go. GM R Truth is creating an inspired slate of matches under unique circumstances. Inspired and R Truth? Come on, I wouldn't trust him to lead ants to a picnic. Seems like the blizzard outside is nothing compared to the storm brewing inside. Oh, I can go backstage. backstage and in every corner of this arena this arena can't contain them and if history's any indication nothing good's about to happen up there either oh here we go backstage some commotion in the backstage area this is not gonna be pretty nothing but close and unforgiving quarters back there this is a huge recipe for disaster boom Kinshasa oh they changed it last time you used to fight like right next to where they come out Called the Corolla position. Oh, come on, I want to get him a soda. Oh, look at this. Oh, 
kicks. Ooh. Capped off with a big one. Oh, a soda did come out. <laughs> it's funny. Well, Chadwe, thank you for showing let me letting me show the backstage area. way. Come on, Jad, get up. He has been here before, and he knows what he needs to do. He has a task at hand, but prefers to be showboating right now. Oh, the TV does move. Okay. <laughs> He's turning the tables. Watch for the lights. Enzagiri finds its mark. That didn't do a whole Boom. lot. TV's pretty strong. What else do we got here? Got a table over here. Powerbombing the table is always a good time. Held in a perilous position. Oh my god! Boom. There's another table. Each competitor showing they've done their homework. Oh my goodness! The table. That's it. I just don't know how to do all the uh, special spots. Like I know I could throw them into the light. Evades their offense. Caught with a DDT. Stunner. Emphatically delivered. I can fight him up here. From the top. Elbow drop. Return fire from Gable. Mm. With a championship on the line. Really? And the count doesn't even begin. Look at this. Snap suplex. Let's go up to this first level here and see if that's what gets us to it. Beginning a very ominous ascent. Gotten himself into a very precarious situation up there. Hmm. Come on, Chad, let's go. He's climbing up that long ladder. Where is he going? Who knows? I'm not sure if he's trying to escape or take this fight into a new and dangerous direction. Sister Abigail! Good night. No one trains to be taking these maneuvers in this kind of environment. This is just danger stacked on top of lunacy. Oh. Super kick! Good night. And with everything we've heard coming into this altercation, we knew this was going to just be ugly and nasty. And I really am not liking what I'm seeing. Things have gotten ugly, but it can still get even worse. Okay, so I can't just jump over that. Okay. He must have something planned as he climbs that long ladder. 
He's way up high now. Not sure I like wherever this is going. Ooh, Take down. Caught me. Looking for the cross face. It's cinched in. This looking to free the arm and does just that. See, I thought I thought you could, but we tried doing that earlier, and there really wasn't the uh, getting carried. Unsure what they're thinking. The right way to get to it. No! Are you kidding me? Yeah, oh my god! That guardrail's in the way, so there's got to be some other way to do it. No, 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 no! Holy oh! Hell. That's it! That's it! Oh, got me with the crossface right, so again. Applied. It's cinched in. This could be over. What a unique submission. Looking to free the arm and does just that. You take a ride up. Yeah, see, there's... There's something I got to do here, I think. Because I can't get in through there. I'll have to look it up later. Spear! Ow. Oh, man, he has fired up now. Gable on the receiving end. Might be something to do with the finishers. I don't know. Yeah, I'll, I'll look it up later. Chad's face is looking terrible. Hoisting up their opponent for a suplex. Oh my gosh, into a pile driver. It's always disorienting taking those hits above the shoulders. Bow. Driving down the forearm into their jaw. Oh, he's stunned. Let's go over here real quick. I feel like that's a button I could hit back there. But I can't. There's nothing to do like the grab buttons with. Not sure what he has in mind here, climbing that ladder. Yeah, because... Well, he did all his work getting up that's there. That's not going out of the way. Plan. And perhaps he thought better of it heading back down now. And Gable just has to make a point here. Has to run his mouth. There's nothing to hit here, so I don't know. Up the ladder he goes. Not sure what he has in mind here, climbing that ladder. Uh, I'm hyperventilating. I can't take this. Well, he did all his work getting up there. I hope he has a plan. Yeah. I mean, it's really cool they got all this whole stuff going on. Spear! And look, these competitors warned us that someone was going to get hurt tonight, but no one thought it would mean this. If they were looking for a place to inflict maximum damage, what in the world is he thinking? Does he not want to win? Yeah. Yeah. Irish whip on the barricade. Okay. So on that second Perhaps level there. About what to do next here. Oh my God! No! Oh no! my God! Oh my God! So Irish whip to this yellow one, or the one below it? Oh, man, you can see he is feeling it now. Okay. Well, let's get him over here, see if he can climb. Oh, we can. Good for him. Oof. Tossed with the arm drag. And the only limit these superstars have on this catwalk is their twisted imaginations. Complete shot. handle
It's not even like trying to show that he's hitting it. There we go. Oh. Thank you, Spencer. Time for Chad to uh powerless position lighten to be up. in right now. Sit out power bomb. Come on, this is just unnecessarily dangerous now. Yep. They're not getting up. They're hurt bad. He's headed back down to solid ground now. There we Thank go. Thank goodness. Got Chad to lighten up there. And he's up already. Look at that. Oof. DDT delivered. Let's hit the finish and go home. Bump handle slam into the Death Valley driver. Cover! One, two, bring it. The champion go. retains. Cool. Changed. Great match out there, champ. Can you believe just a few hours ago there were people saying I wasn't suited to be a GM? Yes, people like me. I agree. That's <laughs> why I took the suit off. Turns out being a GM is pretty tedious. It's mostly just logistics, and those are my third least favorite kind of sticks. But while I was bored <laughs> in my office, I was watching you out there, and I was thinking that you look pretty tired. I wonder why. Probably because of the two title matches. But there's no way to know for sure. That's true, Truth. Anyway, I figured you being dead tired might mean this is my best chance to beat a dead horse. And since I'm in charge and there's no audience, I'm taking you on oh, in a 24-7 style match for the title. Starting right now. Well, not literally right now, but in a few minutes backstage. I thought I was just going to go straight into it. Seniors gamble away most of their gas money, but I met a woman who raises sweat dogs. Still too slow. The avalanche of attacks of the champion just keep coming. A 24-7 match for the WWE Universal title? Interim SmackDown GM R-Truth is rewriting the rules left and right. He might have a future in management after all. And this might not have a pleasant ending. Big time escape right nope. there. Truth. The oh. power bomb. Taking head over heels. Kick lands. You done messed up the table spot. Elevated knee drop connects. And now the chairs are stuck. What a sick thud from that table. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. Looks like he has something planned with his table, guys. I don't want to know. Camarion and Parnell do Logan Paul versus Seth Rollins. We could we could do that in a little, little, little bit. We're still working on the story mode here, dude. Whatever's planned here oh. can't be good. Ran out of stamina. <laughs> I like how Truth says ow. <laughs> Counter! And now there's an opening! Running leg drop. Ooh. Oh, God. Ah. 
Sharp elbows to the body, looking to fight his way out. Truth, you know you want to go through the table. Disrupts the attack with an elbow to the gut. Oh my goodness! Through the tent. Champs got the to retain. One, two. Yeah, no, Ooh. he doesn't get the three. Not three just yet. One prettier. Time to flip it. Boom. Kill switch. That's gotta be One. it. Two kick out of the title fight continues. Uh, Standing shooting star press incredible. One. Shoulders shoots up before two. Wow, one count. Eyes on the target. Elevated knee drop connects. He's able to sidestep there. Boom, what impact. Whoop. He's burying elbows in the midsection. Ah, uh, ducking underneath. This is a unique move. Verna breaker. Cover. One, two, two, three. There we go. Got it. And the champ adds to their legacy. Xavier Woods. I don't care about sleep. It's just going to be points anyways that, for that. Champ, I've been looking for you. Woods. Yeah, I saw your text. Sorry, Miz has me super busy with a bunch of uh, champ stuff. You know how it is. I mean, or at least you know how half of it is, because you were a tag champ. I'm gonna ignore that for now, because what I wanted to talk to you about is that you are stealing from me. Stealing? What? Don't play dumb with me. I'm talking about the show. The video game show? Look, it's totally different than yours. What's my show called? Up, Up, Down, Down. And what is your show going to be called? It's, well, Down, Up, Down, Up. That's the same show. You and Miz stole my IP and barely even had the decency to change the name. Uh, we don't even spell the name out. It's with arrows. With arrows? Are you kidding me? You need to relax. Down up, down up, but with arrows. Hasn't even premiered yet. Miz is still looking for my co-host. How are you going to judge before we even start? Because this is plagiarism. I've spent years building this show and brand, and you just step in and rip it off? You and me are going to have to sort this out. Woods, we'll deal with this. But I am the undisputed WWE Universal Champion in the face of SmackDown. So we'll talk sometime after my next match. Oh, you'll be able to slot me into all your champ stuff? We'll see. Viva la yeah, so this is uh, something we didn't get to do last time either. So... Everyone's getting title matches when I'm here. Crazy. Feel the atmosphere. Everyone's on pins and needles. We've heard rumblings that our WWE Universal Champion has come to a bit of understanding with the Miz. If that's true, I commend him for finally seeing the light. Well, it better not be too distracted with backstage politics. Otherwise, Butch will take his title here tonight. And that stops what Butch had intended. Locks in the pump handle. What the? And holy cow, I'm dizzy. Getting laid out has to have the challenger rethinking their strategy. Something has to change here. Great display of strength with the suplex. Oof, and all the impact brought to the knee. 
Kicks to the face. Capped off with a big one. Yeah. Is this a special episode of Up, Up, Down, Down? <laughs> Our champ's new relationship with The Miz is already ruffling some people's feathers. In this case, it's Xavier Woods. Side of the ring now. What's the plan here? Both arms captured and vitriolic stomps. The stomp in every single part of his body. Oh man, that's like death by a thousand cuts. And an inverted atomic drop. Oh, tossed hard into the ring post. Just continuing to dismantle their opponent. Driving down a forearm into their jaw. From the middle rope, boot sucks. Wow, we took a massive risk, but it might have paid off. Climbs back inside. He needs to find his way back into the ring. The count just keeps going up. Picks him up down. Like being manhandled by a bear. Two count retains. No challenger kicks out. Getting dangerously close to ending it all there. Delivers the leg drop. Oh, Steering boy. attention to the neck. And Butch is failing to offer any resistance here. Butch needs to cause some separation. Sister Abigail for the win. Two. Go. Up, up, down, down, tweet had to come. Whatever you say, Gunther. Whatever you say. doesn't like that I took his gimmick. It is what it is. Let's go with resilience. Thumb is. The champ is here! Ooh. Isn't that a little, uh, played out? You're right. I'll get Troy to focus test some new catchphrases for my guy. But either way, you are about to be the most must-see crossover superstar in SmackDown history. Which, believe me, I am stoked for. By the way, how about Xavier Woods getting hot about all this? He said That's insane. Our show is totally different. You and your superstar co-host are going to play video games and stream them live to your built-in audience of the WWE Universe. Yeah, way different. Right? It's not even close. And you won't look like a slob the way Woods does. Marisa Stylist is putting together a whole new look just for you. I feel like I've heard that somewhere before. Anyway, I wasn't too happy that Woods interrupted my match. Come on, you wanted to work with me. These are the repercussions of that attitude change. And besides, Woods is only generating more attention for your big premiere. You're right. Speaking of which, what are you even doing here? Your co-host is already on her way to makeup. Uh, oh. You cast someone? Who is it? Head to the set, champ. I don't want to ruin the surprise. Hmm, I wonder who it's gonna be. Ouch.
Welcome to the premiere episode of Down Arrow, Up Arrow, Down Arrow, Up Arrow. I think we can just say Down Up, Down Up. Sure. Presented by The Miz. Woo! I'm WWE superstar Gigi Dolan, and I was told about this like 20 minutes ago. Miz told me days ago. Did he give you a gold star too? I'm joined by my co-host, the not at all controversial WWE Universal Champion. Am I that controversial? Do you read your social media or talk to anyone in the locker room? Dude, you've got heat. Point is, we are going to play an exciting video game and you will never believe what it is. It's WWE 2K24. Booty, I call booty. This wasn't in the rundown. Those are booty, this is booty, that, that right there is especially booty. My jacket? Yeah, it's clearly a Kevin Owens hand-me-down. You swore this show wasn't a ripoff and it is literally my show but done much worse. <sighs> We've been over this. What is your show called? I'm glad you asked. Up, up, down, down. Available wherever you stream high quality content. Exactly. And our show is down up, down up. With arrows, though. Not spelled out. She's got a point. See? Totally different. One, that is totally the same. And two, down up, down up isn't part of a famous video game code. It doesn't even mean anything. Let's be real. Have either of you ever played a game in your lives? Of course, all the time. And I watch your show. Not, not to rip it off, just because I love games. Oh my, okay. You got your controller, I brought mine. You and me, WWE 2K24, it's on. Wow, he really called you out. What is this, high school? <laughs> Fine, let's do it. What you got? I'm playing as my amazing alter ego, Cast Zero. Wouldn't it be cool if he was an unlockable? Then I'll play as John freaking Cena. Playing as one of the highest OVR characters in the game. Hmm. <laughs> Bold. I mean, he has a point. You're a huge help. Who would you play as? If it were me carrying the honor of the undisputed WWE Universal Championship, I'd play as... Stacked McSlex. Ooh, nice. Deep cut. He's got the lowest OVR in the game. You know he's based on a real guy? I beat him once on the indies. <laughs> if you can beat Zero with Stacked, That'll prove you're a real gamer and not some booty wannabe gaming poser. Xavier's words. Well, I know or what I'm doing. Or take the easy way out. Go with Cena and prove nothing. Totally your call, though. <sighs> Stacks, let's go. For those of you who don't know who Stacks is, you're in for a treat. Why is this gimmick better than Prepare half a new day? Get McSlacked. If I can beat you with stacked McSlacks, I can beat you with a wet fish. Champ, that is so rude. What if Mama McSlacks is watching? Ah. I'm gonna beat you, but you best put some respect on Stack McSlacks' name. Man is a legend. You're feeding so much you might just solve world hunger. Ah. 
I don't know his moves. That's the other problem. Oh, he's got a power slam. Good for him. Okay, he's strong. <laughs> he's really strong. Let's go, Stax. Yeah. <laughs> I am eating you alive. That's effective. Let's do it again. No. Don't worry. Someday you'll forget this humiliation and move on. Driver, power bomb, something good. There we go, let's go, Stacky. You're starting to get that sweet, sweet. I wrote a check, my butt can't cash feeling, huh? Nah, more like I'm fixing to expose the champ as a gaming fraud in front of the whole WWE universe feeling. If you Okay, she's my pinfall. If the whole WWE universe is watching this show, I have some very disappointing news for you. I'm stoked to be playing you on our premiere, Xavier. I was worried there'd be someone who could actually game. All right, little dude needs to get some stamina back. He's hurting. One of you give me your controller. Uh, what? Why? Gigi probably wants to defend the honor of your bootleg show with more competence. No, I was gonna hit pause and grab a snack. Gotta try something to keep me awake. Oh! Oh my god, the button! Just press the damn button! I'm pressing buttons, Gigi, calm down. What is my finisher? The Dominator. Okay, good move. There we go. Stacks with the win. see it folks beating Xavier Woods at his own game in a game see you see games are one thing but real life is another you know what that performance you just turned in says to me what you are not the least bit undisputed in either real life or a video game ooh sick burn <laughs> you want a sick burn try this the Dark Horse here stole the WWE Universal title with help from Roman Reigns. Now he's trying to steal my show with help from The Miz. Calm down, Xavier. I'm just getting started. You are a bootleg champion with a booty show. This whole thing is booty leg. Mm. Okay, you can stop trying to get yourself over on our show. Bye. Guys. In the interest of creating compelling content, both on our show and SmackDown, I have a proposal. This is gonna be good. Just listen. Champ, put your WWE Universal title on the line against Xavier. He wins. You and me walk away from down up, down up, but with arrows. I like it. And what's at stake for him? Xavier, my co-host here wins, 
and you give up your show up up down down and all your complaining about our entirely original masterpiece i like it thinking about it i'll even sweeten the deal i'll come out with you for the match Ooh. oh my did i walk into a rom-com stop shipping yourselves anyway i accept your challenge I am going to put an end to your title reign and your show. Let's do this. All right, this is gonna be great. What a historic premiere episode. That's all folks, see you next time on Down Up, Down Up, but with arrows. Wait, what just happened? Interesting. <laughs> it was her idea. Troy. Champ, we need to talk. Now, I know the boys like to go into business for themselves. Get to the point, Troy. Fine. Miz is not happy. Your little ego trip with Xavier Woods has put Down Up, Down Up at risk before it even makes it to episode two. It's all under control. Is it? Because it seems like Gigi <clears throat> Dolan bats her eyelashes and you put all of Miz's hard work in your own breakout show in jeopardy. I'm not done with this conversation. If Miz wants to talk to me, he can come see me face to face. Miz has a show to run, so he delegates communication to his highly talented team. All I know is that after all he's invested in you, you better beat Woods out there. What part of I'm done did you not get? Bye, Troy. Yeah, Troy. Just because I'm working with Miz doesn't mean I gotta like him. Gigi. Introducing the challenge from Edward. I'm so excited to see Stack McSlacks. He was my hero. Hey, Slack, give Corey a slack breaker. You're embarrassing yourself and me, Saxton. The real reason we're here is the loser gets their show canceled, which in the champion's case has absolutely no similarities to Up, Up, Down, Down. <laughs> I don't know about that, but let's not lose sight of the fact that this match is also for the undisputed WWE Universal title. Gut-wrench suplex. The challenger might be rethinking his title match after that huge attack from the champ. Stump puller leg snap, very effective. Xavier Woods falling victim to an onrush now. A very tough spot for Xavier to be in. Oh, wicked kick to the lower back. The challenger eating up some damage. Yokosuka cutter. He's going for it all. From the top. Double drop. The champion clearly doing whatever it takes to retain their title here. What a cutter! Springboard! Shooting star! Toss Carson out the window, and it paid off. Adrenaline is through the roof now. And he's completely gained the advantage here. We are looking at an unyielding attack from him. Board. And that was a precisely met the WWE Universal Champion looking to take command here. Hold on, it looks uh -oh. like things are getting heated between GG Dolan and Stack McSlacks. Oh, that's it. The referee has had enough of GG's antics. Are you kidding me? The referee should be ejecting this Slacks loser. Hey, Stacks gets tossed too. 
Well, I guess it's back to one-on-one -on -one action. DDT. A bad place to be for the challenger. By any result. Okay. Well, springboard. Shooting star. That can be a count out. Soaring out of the ring, looking to do as much damage as possible. Whoa. And Xavier Woods reverses. Thrown out of ringside and back to the mat. Ma gets cracked by the overhand. And Woods has lost momentum here. Yeah, Xavier is in desperate need to find a positive spark on offense. Not a rope break, I'll take it. That's gonna be it. Oh, there it is. Stop by rope break. becomes a factor. Time to pull out all the stops. Oh, God. Just defenseless as the momentum is against him. He somehow has to get himself back in order again. Oh, here we go. Suplex. Oh, what? Thanks for coming. But champions need to finish the job. Here we go. The champ stays the champ. Sad. GG. Did you see Stacked out there? I saw you chase him out of the building. Amazing. You know, turns out Miz was right. What do you mean? When he put me with you for down up, down up, but with arrows, I figured it was some kind of rib. Thanks for the vote of confidence. Let me finish. Turns out we make a pretty good team. Yeah. Yeah, we do. But still, after the outcome of tonight's match, I kind of feel bad about getting Xavier's show canceled. Come on, this is all part of Miz's plan and it's working. And besides, we just eliminated the competition. His audience is gonna need something to watch now, and that's where we- I know this was all technically legal, but legal and right aren't necessarily the same thing. Believe me, I know. Well, if that isn't the beginning to a long story, maybe you could tell me all about it. Over dinner? Ooh. We could do that. But I was thinking of going to a late night showing of that new Roman Reigns movie. Really? Really? Did you know he was the longest reigning undisputed WWE Universal Champion ever? You are absolutely toxic. Yep. Come on. I don't want to miss the previews. Let's go. I would not do this for anyone else. <laughs> are we going to get a cutscene about a movie? I think so. Wow, that was quick. Wedding bells. Okay. You heard, but MVP said your suit on Down Up Down Up looks like it's been tailored by a right handed tornado using left handed scissors. Like he can talk. Remember his suit this time about a year ago? Embarrassing. Anyway, I was wondering if you're going to fire back at MVP or just take your thoughts directly to him in the form of a backstage brawl. You could teach MVP a lesson in style and make a fashion statement he'll never forget. Hell yeah, let's do it. You know 
Who lets fans book matches? But hey, there we go. And it is on. Looks like NBA Oh, I'm wearing that suit. This morning he was getting dressed up for a beatdown. Now, I don't want to take sides here, but looking at these two, you have to admit, MVP has a point. Well, all I know is some say clothes make the man, but in this case, they're making for one explosive fight. Oh, my goodness. Anymore. No, I wouldn't buy a PS5 on eBay. Tony, just wait and save, dude. If you're going to get a PS5, get it right. Oh, man. Saw it coming. Oh, I need right to the face. That knee is a lethal weapon. Going up. Uh oh. But right hands create separation and an escape. You said you got to wait to save up anyway, so just wait it out, man. You'll be fine. All of sports entertainment. Vertebraker. Slugging it out. Toe to toe now. The fight is on, and it's furious. Back and forth. Neither one giving up any ground. They are emptying their tanks, going back and forth like this. Better than getting scammed and having to wait again. So. Oh my God! A DDT spiked them. Sister Abigail. Hoisting up their opponent for a suplex. That was brutal, but it looks like this brawl's over now. Now, can we get some... Kamara, if you're still around, uh, we'll, we'll do a little bit more of this, and then we'll do your match for you. Logan Paul versus Seth. Champ, I am so excited you're here. Troy, would you take offense if I said that every time you're this excited, I worry something bad is going to happen? Oh, not this time. Miz has the most must-see, vertically integrated, synergistic, incredible gotcha. stunt in the history of SmackDown planned, and you are the star attraction, huh? The suspense is killing me. Or maybe that's just your breath. <laughs> Kidding. I'm on my way. I'm telling you, you're going to love this. Love it. Love is in the air. Okay. Where have you been? Sorry. Finally, we can talk about my plan to make you the brightest light on the road to WrestleMania. I don't suppose your tux can be explained away by dressing up the announcement of who I'm defending against at Mania. Think bigger. We are going to do a WWE classic. A wedding. Um, who exactly is getting married? Oh, it's as bad as you're thinking. If by bad you mean Brilliant. Guys, the WWE Universe loves the chemistry between the attractively toxic G.G. Dolan and the most must-see Universal Champion in WWE. Uh, I'm the only Universal Champion in WWE? The point is, the marriage of G.G. Dolan and the WWE Universal Champion will draw more eyeballs than a royal wedding. Take that, Regal! I love a publicity stunt as much as anyone, but I have questions. Same. A lot of questions. And I have all the answers. But right now, you guys have to get dressed. 
get dressed for... We are announcing your big engagement with a Miz Match Challenge. Gigi and the Dark Horse versus the hottest couple in WWE history. Miz and Mrs. Ooh, but we didn't get engaged. Yeah, I have concerns. Lay them aside and put on your formal wear, because we've got an engagement to announce. Four sweating is a good thing when both parties aren't sure. Yeah, we'll see. I don't know which of these two I can't stand less. Okay, we're mixing our entrance. All right. And their opponents, Gigi Dolan and Daniel the Natural Douglas. There's a lot of hype surrounding this guy, but I'm not convinced there's enough talent to back it up. Frankly, I'm starting to think that Dark Horse is nothing more than a forgettable donkey. Hey, donkeys play a vital role in agriculture, and this guy is playing a vital role in today's WWE. Seriously, Byron? There's nothing left to do but saddle up and get this one started. The least I could do is hold the ropes for her and be a gentleman about it. Cole, look how fancy everyone looks for this engagement match. According to my notes, our GM is actually calling this a Mizzed match challenge. Not surprised as the Miz would do anything for publicity, but to exploit someone else's engagement? Is a bit much. Congrats to the champ and Gigi. He can do it here. Really? And he easily kicks out of the count. Just power out. Ouch. Back elbow. See, did you see that? And it's boom. Nice. Lifts him up. Can I double team with Gigi? That's the question. He's been placed I can't. in the corner now. Oh, just turn that around. And both athletes showing that they have each other's number. Nasty right hand. Vicious in Zaguri. He's staring his opponent down, getting into that zone. Suplex? Something? Suplex. All right. From behind, jumping suplex. Nine. Oh. Props for Maurice wearing heels. What do they have planned 
here. Kicks, smashing the face right into the ground. Pulled back into the hip toss. I'll just leave it at this. Nobody comes into a match hoping to get chucked around like that. Into the corner now. How about this? Nice. Suplexes again. Oh, the DDTs. DDT style. Nice. Now check this out. This is gonna blow your mind. Holy cow, I'm dizzy. I felt the vibration of that one from all the way over here. enough to knock a normal person out. Uh-oh. Half and half suplex. Lights up. But did you guys just see the distance traveled on that toss? Stomping. Ouch. Miz counters with an attack. Able to avoid there. Oh, targeting the neck. He takes control. Mm. Slam incoming, no. It still delivers the inverted DDT. Corner for another double team. Pair of chops and another. Here they come over and over. And there's more. Woo! to see the sham of a wedding. Oh boy. Here comes Becky and Seth.
Tonight's our big night. Gigi, what are you doing? I'm not supposed to see you before the ceremony. Well, shoot. I guess if watching me beat up Maurice in this beautiful dress didn't jinx our wedding, this definitely put a nail in the marital coffin. What is actually happening tonight? I don't know, but that squirrely producer Troy had me sign a bunch of paperwork, which makes me think this might be more than a TV stunt. I signed some stuff too. You don't think Miz is looking to turn this into some kind of weird made-for-TV arranged marriage, do you? I wouldn't put anything past him. Well, we've managed to make lemonade out of his lemons so far. I say we see where this goes. Besides, you ever see a WWE wedding without a twist? All right, hubby. N nope feels weird. I kind of like it. Gross. Oh, she's not feeling it. <laughs> Sworn Miz promised us a spectacular wedding for the ages. Not sure this is that. Stop, Saxton. I have been assured the bride and groom wanted an intimate service on live television. I'm no body language expert, but Gigi and the champ don't look too happy about this. You've never heard of wedding jitters, Cole? Everyone's a critic. Ladies and gentlemen, we are gathered here today to celebrate the beauty of love and lifelong commitment. Where's brother love when you need him? You're building love and commitment? They're just jealous. Before we recite the vows, does anyone here have reason to object to this wedding? Speak now or forever hold your peace. You get the sense the WWE Universe is rooting for an interruption here. Uh, Troy, aren't you skipping a couple of things? Isn't there the, uh, ceremonial... The, the tying of our hands thing with the ribbons. We still need to do that. Becky Lynch and Seth Rollins? What is the WWE Women's Champion thinking? This is a sacred ceremony. Interruption, weren't you? Let's hear it. Do you want to see these two goofs go through a Mrs. Shotgun wedding? No, nobody wants to see that. Or do you want to see the hottest, most influential, most fashionable, real couple? In WWE, renew their vows. You and Seth already had your moment. The champ and GG deserve theirs. Let's go, preacher man. Get to the vows. I want to kiss my groom. Uh, this wasn't part of the plan. This is a nuptial hijacking. You are not gonna spoil my TV wedding. Gigi Damn. <laughs> She's not going to be upstage. No, no, no. Here we go. All stop, hell stop, is stop, broken stop. loose. Come on, Troy. Do something. Security. Somebody. Not the expensive Miss. flowers. So much for a calm and peaceful ceremony. The WWE You're Universal Champion love. is taking it to Seth Rollins. It's a war of the bride. And the grooms, too. It's like Jerry Springer, but better. Control no, here. No. Into the wedding bower. Look out. This is nuts. You Typical you know WWE wedding, guys. I guess the reception's canceled. Please listen to me. Go to commercial. Go to commercial. That's great.
Seth needs something blinking to hold up, hold his outstanding, outstanding pants up. <laughs> This feels weird in my mouth to say, but thanks. I'm gonna mark today in my calendar. Gigi said thank you. Stop or I'll take it back. Putting the WWE Universal Championship on the line to get me a title shot at Mania is kind of a big deal. I appreciate it. We're partners in crime, right? And nearly married co-hosts. We really dodged a bullet there. Or actually, more like a missile. Come on, it wouldn't have been that bad. I guess. At least my phone wouldn't be getting blown up by Miz right now. I don't think he cares about the wedding going off the rails. He's more upset we went into business for ourselves with these mania matches. Then I guess we better win. I mean, there's no way Miz messes with his golden couple, right? I'm a champion, and you're about to be one. We'll pretty much dictate all the terms in the world. To Miz, or whoever we need to. Well, I'm just gonna have to beat Becky Lynch in the middle of that ring. When WrestleMania is over, we'll be the most powerful duo in WWE. I like the sound of that. I do too. WrestleMania. Yes. If you're still sticking around and watching the show, I appreciate it. Spencer, Tony, uh, Camarion, we'll still do your match a little bit later if you're around. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. That is for the WWE Women's Championship. Okay, GG. From wedding bells to wedding crashers to a title cash in, Gigi Dolan and Becky Lynch and their tumultuous journey here at WrestleMania. All eyes are on this match, but I bet none are looking as intently as the Universal Champ is right now. He'll be putting his title up against Becky's beau, Seth Rollins, later tonight. A title win from Gigi right now would put a big pep in the step of the champ. And Gigi didn't see that coming. Consecutive attacks keeping Lynch off her game. Gigi loves to have this kind of control. Ah, oh, right to the back. Looking to apply an agonizing armbar stretch. Oh, there is a fine line between strain and pain when your shoulder is worked like that. Oh man, looks like her opponent's not gonna need a chiropractor. Making that shoulder a priority. Gonna be harder for the champ to perform after that focused attack on the shoulder. Go behind. German suplex Good German. And a cover by the challenger. The champ not letting the rep get to two. Impressive to not even allow a two count at this juncture. Ah, shot to the back. To stay Open on her. The arm bar and a punishing stretch. Can't lift anyone at that shoulder. It keeps getting worked on. Turnbuckle's the only thing keeping her upright. How did scout it? It's time for Becky to take advantage of a misstep and take command. Oh, incredible 
Triple suplex. Oh, there's an arm breaker. Right to the spine. The shoulder absorbing serious punishment. With the pain being inflicted on the champion here, this isn't just business. This is personal now. Forearm to the jaw. Kick to the gut. Oh, the reversal Ooh. by Becky Lynch. Big knee to the midsection. Becky Lynch hits the ropes, mm. connects with a leg drop, and more to come. Oh. <laughs> As the challenger pinned, is this it? Kicks out at just one. I can't believe the ref didn't get two here. Timely reversal on Lynch. Definitely a good back and forth style match. Gets out of it with a well placed knee to the face. Oof. Across the top rope, all the way to the floor. She's got to be careful here. The referee will count her out. She's into the ring again. Gigi Dolan just in her own world, posing for the crowd now. Yep. And a clothesline. A bit of provocation from Dolan. Becky Lynch with a great shot. Oh, there's an arm breaker right to the spine. Taking a moment to get pumped off of this crowd's incredible energy. Gigi Dolan has her opponent off. Oh my, the Gigi driver. We can have a new champion. Two. The rain continues. The Ooh. champ kicks out. I knew it would take more than that to put the champ away. But just how much more is needed. The end could still be right around the corner. A big opportunity falling through their fingers. You've got to continue fighting and hope you're Big move is the last one. The now a pen for the championship. Oh, the kick mm. out. She kicked out. How does anyone kick out at this point? Lean it right back with a reversal. Oh, man. Ripcord applied. Oh, and a cover for the championship. No, just got the Ooh. shoulder up. Can Still kicking out. It? Can you believe she powered out? Sent into the corner. Uppercut connects. Oh, look at this. So ruthless. Pin attempt for the championship. Almost ended it there. I didn't think we'd see a kick out there. I didn't know for sure. Oh, unloading a big kick to the back. An impressive chain of moves from Gigi. The man's got to figure something out. Kick right to the face. Ooh. Moving into the cover with the title of the line. New champion, new champion. New champ, no! Ooh. The champ kicks out. This is amazing. Uh-oh. Lynch now on the offensive. Lynch reversing the momentum on her. Could do what she needed to ignite a rally. Boot to the gut will stop anyone in their tracks. And that holds Becky back. Look at her answer. 
answering back. You're going to need your back adjusted after that one. Yep. Looking for the victory. Two. And she fights it off. She just will not go away. Oof. Answer that with a... Becky Lynch rolls through, and she's disarmored. And gets to the rope. That's going oh, to break the break. Yeah. Pulled back into the hip toss. Momentum is running away from Becky fast. Gigi loves to have this kind of control. And that's the man. Set ah. up the man handle slam. A championship level move. And a kick out. Oh, let me low out of the ring. One after that is unheard of. And with that kick out, Becky has to keep the aggression up. On the top. Oh, she lands hard. With authority. Here's the pin coming on the line. Count it, ref. Hurry up. Oh, the champ narrowly kicks out. This is no time to hesitate. You can feel the end coming. GG Dolan. Has her opponent up. Oh my, the DG driver. Gonna see a new champ. Two. There we go. Earl got, got the title. Here is your winner. And the new WWE Women's Champion, GG Dolan. You just beat Becky Lynch like I knew you would. That was amazing. It felt amazing. Did you see the look on her face when I held up the title? And now it's your turn. Go out there and embarrass Becky's bow. You got it, partner. I'll be watching. You got this. Go. The following is scheduled for one fall and is for the undisputed WWE Universal Championship. There, there's no, there's no hardware difference between the two. It's just one's bigger than the other. The standard is the old one. The slim is newer and smaller. He's the WWE Universal Champion and Mr. Gigi Dolan, the Dark Horse. Introducing the challenge from Devin. Right now in this brief moment, a former Dark Horse and the toxic underdog are on top of the WWE mountain. Will it last? I wouldn't count on the championship couple staying on top for long haul. Seth Rollins is not only fighting for the undisputed WWE Universal title, he's fighting to get revenge for his wife. A love story so big it can only be told at WrestleMania. Kick to the gut. Hooked up. DDT! No. Tony, no. Lifted high into the electric chair position. Just this save up, be buy a new one, wait, a wait it out, it'll be fine. Hurricanrana. Beautiful. Look at this. Snap suplex. A sound suplex. Challenger's looking shaken. He planned for this and could still rally. What a spin kick. Ooh. Great display of power at the Tetlet German suplex. The title oh. grabs the champ is no problem displaying all their power. 
Now check this out. This is gonna blow your mind. Holy cow, I'm dizzy. Picture perfect example for when you just want to put someone down. Launching. He misses the target. Short flight, but a rough landing. And he scores a reversal on Rollins. Oh, across the top rope. Didn't even get a chance to counter it. It's crazy. Heads out of the ring. What's next? Gets him with the counter. They are fading off the WWE fans. Now pinning the arm down and delivering nasty stops. No respect being shown whatsoever with those stops. And gets tossed back into the mat. Champ will stay champ. No, my, that was close. Oh, he kicked out. The pressure back on the champion. Can the champion respond with their back against the wall? It is unreal that this match is still going on after a maneuver that would end most matches. Cover. Two. There we go. Title defense from the WWE Universal Champion. The whole WWE Universe here at WrestleMania was behind Seth Rollins. And now they're giving the champ hell. And look at him, Saxton. He's feeding on it. That's the Miz's influence. You say that like it's a good thing. Seth Rollins cannot believe what has happened here on night one of WrestleMania. And there's Becky comforting him. It's disgusting. Go do your crying backstage. Miz and Gigi have turned the WWE Universal Champion into a real son of a winner. He's a winner, Cole. Learn to love it. And here comes Gigi Dolan to mourn it over Becky and Seth. Yeah, how about a little humility? You really expect that from these two? First it was getting Xavier Woods' show canceled. And now the title of first couple of WWE, Saxton. You are seeing the torch pass right there. Can you believe this? The arrogance. Arrogance. They're the champions of SmackDown. This is their night to bask in the spotlight. They're not basking. They're rubbing the WWE Universe's faces in their wings. The new WWE Women's Champion and the WWE Universal Champion were both victorious tonight, and this crowd is giving them hell for it. A true heartbreaker to end night one of WrestleMania. How much longer is this going to go on? As long as they want it to, Cole. Excellent ending for WrestleMania. The bad guy and Let's the bad go. girl. What did I tell you? Most powerful duo in WWE. I have one question for the two of you. Just who in the hell do you think you are? The most powerful duo. You must not have heard him. We are the most powerful duo in WWE. Do you think calling yourselves that means you can go around making your own matches at WrestleMania? I am the general manager of SmackDown, AKA the most powerful man in WWE. I don't know, Troy's got pull. You think you're cute? I am your boss. You will show me respect. You get every bit of respect that you deserve, Miz. Which is to say, not much. You ungrateful? I made you must-see when the WWE Universe was calling you a fraud. I made both of you. I gave you a hit. Worldwide streaming platform. Let's be real. You ripped off Xavier's show. 
and pushed Gigi and me into a TV wedding that neither of us wanted any part of. The only fraud standing here is you, Miz. Agreeing to work with you was the worst decision I've made in my entire career. And clearly, we don't need you. So no more ripoff show, no more publicity stunts, no more Miz. Us? This? This arrangement? It is finished. Finished? Finished? You don't finish this, I do. Pack your bags, Dolan. You're going to Raw. What? I'm the WWE Women's Champion. You were, but you're Regal's problem now. So hand over my WWE Women's Championship. Do it, now. No, don't do it. Oh. I could take you down so fast. Go ahead. Hit me. I'll fire you and strip you of your title, too. It's not worth it. That's fine. I'm not going to have to strip you of your title. Because soon enough, you're going to lose it. Your next defense is going to be so grueling, it is guaranteed to end your reign. You are the pettiest human being I've ever met. And you are just a bad memory. Congrats on the big WrestleMania victory, champ. Aww. Stand back! There's a hurricane coming through! Miz traded GG, canceling down, up, down, up, but with arrows. And up, up, down, down is back. Cool. Well, our ascension to power did not go entirely as planned. I promise you, Miz is going to be out of the picture. And I'm going to... Hey, look. I'm all for being one of the many reasons you have to punch Mrs. dumb face one of these days. But I'm not some princess you have to avenge. You beat Becky Lynch. You won the WWE Women's Championship and he took that away from you. It makes me... Enraged? Me too. But you know what? You opened the door, but I beat Becky Lynch. I won that title. I'm gonna carry that confidence over to Raw and win the Women's World Championship. Hell yeah, you are. You need me? You know where I'll be. <laughs> on top of the mountain on Raw. You're damn right. See you around, Dark Horse. See you, Gigi. Aww. Good guys want to be bad guys. Everyone who wears my title is just another guy who doesn't measure up to the head of the table. All right, Spencer. Hope your night goes well. Get some rest. But we're at a good stopping point anyways. It's been uh, coming up on four hours. So I appreciate everyone who came by. Uh, Camarion will do your match later, or I'll tape it and do it uh, as a video. Uh, but, yeah, we'll do that Logan Paul versus Seth. And uh, I hope everyone who's watching this later is a VOD too. Appreciate you coming by and you enjoyed the show. Definitely a different story so far. And I'll catch you all later. Have a good night.